Yes, can I be heard? Can I be heard? Daddy. Dream, Daddy. Dream. I cannot sing for she, but I am here. Let's continue. Meet Robert. Yeah, I know this will meet Robert. I have chat open. My whole setup changed. Oh, my back. It's going to kill me tomorrow. The bar is small and dimly lit. The crack of pool ball sounds in the pa in the back. It's Preytown's laugh and joke. A string of multicolored Christmas lights hover over the power tender. Can't tell if he's Jim or Kim. I pull up to see at the bar. What would it be? One beer, please. Sure thing, boss. This bartender slimes me an ice cold beer. I take a sip, enjoy the refreshing taste. Say, are you Jim or Kim? I'm Neil. Oh. I quickly turn my attention to the game, which is playing on one of the TVs on the wall. As Lux will have it, my team preference on not only playing, but is currently the league, which is always a good thing. The brightly colored mascot, which is some kind of animal, does cartwheels. I suddenly cheer on my favorite team, hoping that I don't get into any confrontation or arguments with a fan of the opposing team. Several people in the bar were waving the distinctive colors of the team I dislike, although I believe from their demeanor that, like me, the passion from their team is all in good fun. A middle-aged woman holding a nearly empty wine glass slides up to the bar and sits uncomfortably close to me. This is Joseph's wife, right? Fucking the cross, dead giveaway, satanic, no, not saving satanic cult, they're a fucking cult. Hey, sailor. Oh, hello. Good to see fresh men here. I'm Mary, come here often. Oh no, I actually just moved to this part of town today. I'm Alex, by the way. Are you watching the game? Yeah, my performance team seems to believe they keep this up to win the game with ease. Oh, I love that team, and I also love the game. I love someone who knows their way around balls. What? What? <laughs> I'm getting the impression that she's a little drunk. Uh, buy a gal a drink? I don't want to buy Mary. I mean, we're not shay. It looks like you have enough strength. Uh, maybe some other time? Seat yourself, sailor. Aside from this, bar pantrums and on the enter. I happily watched the game over another beer. The game has gotten close in turn points, a little too close than what I'm comfortable with. After a particular skilled player scores a number of points for the other team in the lead, I hear an infirmary grunt from another man at the bar. Go team! It's the brewing man from the coffee spoon. He sits alone sipping whiskey and watching the game as well. Join the game? I am now that we're winning. Oh, we must be rooting for different teams. In my opinion, my team is far superior. I disagree with that. Based upon our win and loss record, I'll say my team is superior. That's where you're wrong. Since it stands right now, my team is beating yours. Cross mission ends there. We both go back silently rooting for our respective teams. The game is close. With both sides playing the hardest to win, but in the end, my team prevails quite be Quiet cheers ripple through the bar. I raise a respectful glass to the man drinking the whiskey. He raises his in response, and a spoken truth is formed between us based on mutual love for the game. He motions the bartender, who pours two glasses of whiskey. The man slides one over to me. The name's Robert. Thanks, I'm Alec. You must be new here. Mary really hit on you? Yeah. Robert chuckles. She's a peach. Well, you picked the best bar in town. Slimy as it is, you'll never find a better spot than Jim and Kim. Is there actually a Jim and Kim in Rindam Run's place? No, that'll be Neil. Neil waves from across the bar. Good guy, Neil. Not enough Neils in the world. <laughs> I think of Neil from Coffee Talk now. He's such a golden retriever. Like, Neil from Coffee Talk is such a golden retriever. Uh, okay. You a whiskey fella or a beer fella? beer but i'll drink most things you like shots 
I like shots. I won't say I love them. Because I know this dude can't handle it. Or should we say I love shots? Thank God. Robert Nassinil, who serves up two shots of whiskey, her, his hands one to me. He hands one to me. I can swear I can talk. Here's to your health. We take the shots. The whiskey burns going down, but I try my hardest to look tough. You know, this Robert, I know Robert has a kid, right? Everybody else has. Wait, I think this is what making friends is. Same. I don't know how to make friends. I mean, shoot, what is talking to people in real life? We're all critical chronically online how are you fucking say that word okay i like this guy's out of my friend link but i think if i play my cards right we'll be pals in no time comment what oh can we not compliment that cult tattoo uh compliment is cool letter jacket uh what should we compliment him Like your jacket. Thanks. Been my family a long time. Passed down from firstborn to firstborn. First some will say. Man, this guy is mysterious and cool. Robert, you're such a sweet pie. Way cooler than I am, at least. Robert signals to the bartender for another round. What are you doing here tonight? My daughter kicked me out of the house. Not like forever. She was having a sleepover with her friends. Family type, huh? Single dad. Huh. Gets up. Be right back. Got a power in my nose. Never seen Robert this talkative. He must like you. Guess so. I gotta admit that Robert has a gruff charm on him. If a guy like that thinks I'm cool, then I really must be. We're not cool, boo. We're not cool, boo. Robert comes back from the bathroom, grabs his letter jacket. I'm gonna go home. You heading my way? Robert and I leave the bar and find ourselves walking in the same direction. I live in this closed sack down the way. Does everybody live there? That's what I'm saying. Does everybody we know live there? Me too. We just finished unpacking today. Great place to be. Good neighbors. Well, some of them. Who's that? To Robert's house, which is just a few houses away from mine. We'll stop being turned to me. Don't kiss and tell Alec. Are we doing this or what? What? You know. Do you want to come inside or not? No! Stop me a flush. No, thank you. Does Lane... Okay, I want to search up the saying it politely. Like, do I just say no thank you to Robert? Or... Give me one second. I remember... I don't want to... Because this, all the beginning stuff, you kind of have to do, right? Uh... Like, I think it's no thank you. Because you cannot sleep with Robert... If you, um, if you don't, um, if you sleep with him, you cannot do his run. No, thank you. Uh, better call and not catch you around? Sure. He likes that. I remember he, he hates it if you sleep with him. I remember Mark, when he played this game, he slept with him and he couldn't get Robert and everybody told him, oh, he, this or not. Start building credit as early as possible. Damn. This game's calling me out. Rise and shine. Early birds. Still want to work out. This is correct, by the way. Crap, it's 6 a.m. Who's a 6 a.m. anymore? But I don't realize then I drift back to sleep. Whoops. Must have winged back down. I checked my phone again. Hey, bud. Still want to get your soul on? I'm ready to tear up the track. Hit me up. God, the last thing I'm going to do right now is work out. But it is Craig. I do want to catch up. Go to the gym! Hey, my man need a few minutes to wake up, but let's meet up in 20. Another text come in. Sure thing, meet me at the gym. Stretch my bones. Stop falling asleep on the couch. Drop my blanket. Hey, wait, I don't remember falling asleep with a blanket. Amanda must have br took me in after I fell asleep. Bless that child. Rather than brush my teeth, throw on the only clothes I own that are even kind of gym appropriate and head out. So we meet Robert! Neighborhood is quiet and censoring this early in the morning. Birds chip and the grass is still wet with dew. Surprising, the gym is pretty crowded. I spot Craig staring out from stretching, of course. He spots me and waves idiotically. Have you fucking spilled it? Yeah. Ugh. 
It's like right late over here, so give me one second. Bray bro, good morning. Hey, good to see you, man. I'm definitely not as pumped as he is. Maybe I should have had some coffee before I left. You ready to kick some left? I gotta help. Will your help, Craig? I can do anything, baby. I get the feeling there's gonna be less of me kicking butt and more of the gym kicking my butt. Same. But I can handle it with you here, baby. Dude, bro, that means a lot. In the gym, and I'm mainly intimidated. All these people look like they could break me in half, and it seems like Craig is friends with all of them. He high fives and finger guns all the cool jocks in the room. They looked like they could and would steal my lunch money to spend on protein shakes. <laughs> Come on, bud, let's warm up. Head over to the treadmill and start walking. Okay, I can walk. Walking is good. There's some place to be walking, so I know we're on the treadmills. Yes. And those over there are ellipticals. Very good. What is all this other stuff? Craig laughs. Oh, you're so adorable, Craig. I hate that my overlay covers it. I might have to move the overlay a bit up or make it smaller, but I hate that it covers it. They might look like a little scary, but I guarantee that all of them serve a specific purpose for building muscle mass. Which is a dude in muscle T flexes, a muscle I didn't know existed in a machine. I think was once used to process grains of flour. I think I know which one he's talking about. What is that? Why is that guy doing that to himself? That's a good question, bro. What do you think he's doing? Support Panko. Hey, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to crush people's skulls with my thighs. Gotta have these thick thighs. He's trying to make his thighs so strong that he could crush people's skulls with them. Yeah, that's pretty much the only reason I work out. No, Craig has turned up the speed a bit. No! Uh, how, uh, how long have you been doing this buff thing? A couple of years. What do you do when you're not that and you're working buffing? Oh, I coach my twin football team. That still counts as both daddy and a buffy. Hi, ah, keep busy. What do you do for fun? I love learning. I try to get shape my world world around me. I'm like a sponge for knowledge. Soaking up all the intellectual content, you know, history, the paranormal, same. Wilderness survival. Uh aliens, mostly those things. So you watch the history channel too, huh? Yes. We're jogging now. Oh god, we're jogging now. Craig, who hasn't even broken it. How is he doing this every day? I'm dying. I can feel my life force draining through every orifice of my body. Hey, remember when my, my fish died in college? Huff. No, I don't like the story. Oh my god, is he really bumping the speed again? I guess I... No! Stop it, my dude! You're gonna fall. Oh, this is fast. This is very fast. When we were at the party and you vowed to make me feel better, you told me to create a distraction, so of course I do a sick keg stand and get everyone cheering. And then I... Try to steal fish from a fish tank in the party with my hair, hand, bare, bare hair, hands, hair, hands. That does not sound good. With my bare hands, like an idiot. And you drop the fish and it's flopping around and you panic. So you run up to me my post keg stand with a dying dirty fish in your hands that you scoop off the ground. And you're yelling at me that we have to leave. So we're running out of the frat party with a fish and trying to give him mouth to mouth resuscitation. And we get him home, get him in a bowl of water, but the program prognosis was a grim the next day he's uh alive and well they never did catch the great fish thieves of grand wish you they never will to watch jesus that dude bro are you okay what were the injuries um fantastic doesn't hurt now but i'm sure you don't have to push yourself like that always know you're like well i think i might call jim venture here you sure yeah right well here i brought you this Esther will see a parent in the States. Protein shake, bro. <laughs> Thank you. It's me to drink. Oh boy, <laughs> here goes. Take a small sweet. It's actually delicious. Wow, this is really good. Good for you. It's my special recipe. I'm pretty proud of it. Let me know if you ever want to work out again. Maybe we can try running around the neighborhood if trembles aren't your speed. No pun intended, bro. 
Good one. Well, I'm going to go put some ice on this and everything. I'll see you around at the barbecue. I, love the gym. I left leave the gym feeling the shame. Craig used to order delivery from pizza places across the town from our dorm. Now he can run circles around me. Literally, man, I really gotta work on this dad bod. Same, my dude. Go home and lie down on the couch. It hurts to move. Oh god, I'm so old. I'm just gonna get to the dad book and then I'll be fine. Oh, I almost have fallen asleep. What time is it? Shoot, it's 3.55. Supposed to be at Amanda's school in five minutes. You put on some clean clothes, apply a generous amount of deodorant, and run out the door. Yeah, we don't want to look like an alcoholic. The front desk. Visitor and send me on my way. Really wake and feeling pretty hanger, but hopefully nobody will notice. See that I'm only two minutes late. Wait, was it room 103 or 108? I spot you standing in his locker for some help. Excuse me, do you know where Mr. Vega's classroom is? Sit me up now with heavily lined eyes. <sighs> Mom, kid, I'm late for a meeting. Mr. Who? Mr. Vega, I don't know. Have you tried the exit? Okay, why, Scar, are you gonna help me or not? Uh, fine, up those stairs to the left. Can't miss him. We're unable to find Miss Vega. I head back, back to where Low Rent Gerard Jer Jer is standing, fully ready to give when suddenly a head pops out of the classroom next to his locker. Lucian, don't you have a third period to get to? Uh, fine, Mr. Vega. Wow. Now officially 10 minutes late. I glare at him as he walks away. Not cool. But yeah, like this period is almost over. Will you mind waiting on the back? I mean, it takes you one of the comically small student desks in the back. I might get stuck in this. Alright, where were we now? Who can tell me about the unreality of the neighbor and JD Sandler like catcher in the ride? Yes, Colin. That's the thing where he blows into her to make fart noise. The whole class erupts in laughter. Alright, alright, everybody. Very funny. Colin, please sit down. Now, Holland Call of Fear is an unreliable narrator in the sense that bell for the end of the period rings, all the students immediately get up and make a break for the door. Remember to do the reading and answer the response questions on page 194 in your textbook! Nobody's listening. Or not, I guess. Sarega so turns to me and signs. Middle schoolers, right? Don't you teach high schoolers? Both, you know. Budget cuts, right. Thanks so much for coming in. Problem. Sarega. Please call me Hugo. Hugo, you're a daddy too. He is hot. He <gasps> I just imagine my, my dude with that haircut. Oh my god, he would look hot. I've seen him with fucking... My dude looks good with a fucking man bun. Like, I think he can pull that man bun. I don't normally do these impromptu parent-teacher meetings, but I'm sure you know Amanda's very bright student and concerned about her recent behavior. What's going on? Amanda has never been the most engaged student, but I know she cares. Recently, though, she's been falling behind. She's not completing an assignment. She's been doing rather poorly on tests. I normally chalk this up to senioritis, but... It's strange that I thought Amanda would share everything with me, and it has never crossed my mind that something might be wrong. Just wanted to ask, everything okay at home? We just moved. She wants to ball things up. I noticed it's different about her, but she always tends to put on happy face no matter what. See if you can talk about it. I know she values you a great deal and will appreciate your guidance. If she keeps heading down this road, I know how important art school is to her. I would hate to see her miss out on scholarship money that she clearly deserves. I'll make sure to talk to Amanda. Thanks for letting me know, Hugo. Tell him I'm way out. Stop thinking for my turn, Hugo. Hey, Hugo? Yes? They ever catch the ride? Yes. I'm like way out of school. I'm still a little bit shocked Amanda was able to hide this so well from me. It's been such a force for positivity in my life. Especially after we lost her father. Amanda didn't be done with class for a day, but I'm sure she would appreciate it right at home. Maybe I can talk to her about what's going on. Pull up to a carpool, Amanda hops in the passenger seat. So, did you have fun gossiping about me? Mr. Reagan actually just cops the roster celebrity curses. So, you talked about Mario Batali at the whole, the whole time? It's a very productive. Who the fuck is Mario Batali? Productive meeting. I'm pretty sure Hungy. 
hungry. Can we go grab some drink, dinner? Third thing. We can make something at home. Let's go to the mall food court. Does that sound good to you? Yeah, sure. Why the mall? Jeez, can a dad take his daughter to the mall? You buy me the things? I will buy you a thing. Singular. It's like a deal to me. They're in silence for a short while. Amanda plays a game on her phone. I should say something. You know, sometimes when a kid gets older, they find that they have to keep things hidden from their parents. And that's okay because sometimes that's what kids do. And that's okay, but also sometimes it's good to have that parent's perspective. Because, you know, maybe the parents have also dealt with similar situations. And maybe they're a little cooler than you give them credit for. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is it's good to share. Love you. Have you been reading my tweets? You have a Twitter? What? Never mind. Look, sweetie, Mr. Vega said you haven't been participating in class and you're not turning things in. Oh, I'm fine, Pop. Senior artist saw that. I thought you liked Mr. Vega's class. It's fine. He's fine. Pull up to stop by nine minutes. She's still texting. Just, I want you to know that you can talk to me about anything. Uh-huh. So whatever it is, she doesn't want me knowing about it. That's frustrating. Uh, here, Amanda R is going to fancy our school in California. This is exciting. Yep. Are you bummed that you guys aren't going to be in the same school? Yep. Keeps texting. She stiffles a laugh. So funny. Uh, it. So, uh, I don't think you'll get it. Okay. Who are you texting? Noah. Who's Noah? My friend. Does he go to your school? Yep. Do you like Noah? What? No. Dad. Ugh. I can't believe you would. Dad. I mean, jeez. Why would you? Ugh. Gross. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just asking. Dad, he's just my friend. Guys and girls can be friends. He's my friend. Okay, okay. Jeez. It's gonna, this is going well. Well, good to talk. Love you, kiddo. Turns up the radio. I guess that conversation is over. To the mall, then. We're at the mall. A big indoor shopping center with a couple different floors. Kind of dead, but that doesn't stop a mall security guard from yelling at a group of lowering teens. Let's see something disgusting for the nerd. Hell yeah. Language, Missy. Heck yeah! Better. Close to food court and available are options. There's a greasy restaurant after restaurant. Nobody looks happy to be there. Damn. I actually love, re like, mall food. Like, there's actually some good mall food. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I'm like fucking yawning. Uh <sighs> Extend my hand to her. Would you do me the honor of sharing some nachos? Fix my hand with a grin. Will make me the happiest, cheesiest girl alive. We ordered a giant pile of chips and naturally orange cheese from a very romantic, uh, possibly stoned teenager. We take a seat at a regular table and dig in. Damn. These are bad. These are very bad. But also strangely delicious. We have to eat through pain.
So, something's been bothering me for a while. Can you explain memes to me? Which meme? All, all memes. <laughs> What's worse than is the moving to free video games will try and jump on the meme train, but based on how long it takes to them, the meme will be long dead by the time it comes out. So it just states it and it's funny. Oh shit, what up? Dad, please. Anyway, changing the subject. Where to now? Wanna go to that god store? What? You know, the one that's all black and tries to establish itself as an anti establishment, despite being a sack reputation of the establishment. I don't know what story you're talking about. You know, the one where you can buy chain wallets and it's basically on salt and when people fought so hard against in the punk hardcore movements of the 70s and 80s? Do you gotta be more specific. The one you threw up in that one time. Oh, that one. And runs the story with me trailing behind her. She makes me line for the back. There it is. You can still see the outline, kinda. I'm so proud. Beach, Amanda. Speech, 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 all right, do it if you stop chanting. This Amanda stops immediately. Clear my throat. <clears throat> Thank you all for joining us here today to commemorate a certain moment that will forever shape history on a day very much like this some five years ago. Our very own Amanda and Leo Aguilar had too much blue raspberry slushy on out into the mall. After begging her father to take her to dead god beyond to buy rainbow suspenders, she proceeded to throw up all over the display of My Chemical Romance merchandise. Her loving father then had to pay for said merchandise, which to this day remains among her possessions. Thank you. In this move, she begins clapping slow efforts and fast and more vigorous silver other prancer. One of them also starts clapping about my head. Oh, hey, chain wallets. While Amanda busts herself looking at band teachers, I find something of interest myself. Not so much for a dad looking at that goth beyond. Band t-shirts. Look at band t-shirts. Apparently no one of his bands, Cannibal Bone Party, doesn't seem like music I enjoy, but they must be really happy that retail outlet is carrying their merchandise. The parents are really proud of them. Look, this is very important to me. I heard a civil argument over a cashier's shirt and an older gentleman's carrying a garment and showing it to a bored-looking cashier with pink hair. You can see that. Don't know what to tell you there. Just work it. Listen, when I bought this online, the website Blouse was Victorian inspired. I had one to receive it. It clearly held the trademark of Edwardian dressage. If you want a coupon, I can give you a coupon. When you leave, I give you a coupon. Is there a manager present? People have to know what they're buying. I am the manager. I see. Well, it will seem that I have to outstay my welcome. Good day, shopkeep. Your superiors will receive a strongly worded letter by post. Whatever, dude. Man whirls around, storms out, his little cocktails trailing behind me. I can't tell if they're Victorian or Edwardian nature. Teacher, an old boy, here it comes. Yay, Dad, Chon, 5,000. Yes, I'll buy it for you. Wow, that was easy. Thanks, at least only one this time. Sure, on the counter, grins at the cash. I love your hair. The cashier says nothing, rings Amanda up, reading hatred at hand her 20. So is that guy still. So how I'm worried she'll pull something. That's Damien. He's in here all the time. He's obsessed with Victorian fashion, whatever. Ragan is clean. The conversation is over. We make our way out of the store and head home to get some rest. Kyle trying to find something to watch over bowls of ice cream. Oh, cool. Long haul, paranormal ice road ghost trucks on. Your favorite, right? Hell yes. I have to make it over Canada Tundra before the ice road melts, but they all, also their hunting goals. Also, the trucks are haunted. Racing, but it's one of the best. Colin Flint dogs on the twin brothers truck driving ghost hunting duo find themselves in greatest peril yet. Ghost dung gun control the truck. Can't steer on them. They're damn ice roads. Let me use this EVP meter to try and communicate with the spirits. Flint, we're about to die. Oh, um, Scotty, if you listen carefully, it sounds like it's saying you're gonna die. That's because we are about to die, you, this sort. The man excuses herself to go and start arguments on the internet. Can flying dog one of the distresses ice road incident afterwards I come to bed and get a good night's sleep. Go ask your mother. Shit, what mom? Morning, sleepyhead. Five more minutes. You have never ever let me have five more minutes, so get up. 
fine. Ooh. Oh, I'm so tired. With cereals for breakfast and spend the morning putting together furniture, Amanda is much better at interpreting the tiny manuals. We're able to put together a few shelves in one desk, but I'm sure she was supposed to be a bookcase. So you excited for the cookout today? To beef up my grill and scales. If there's food, I'm excited. I'm all over those terrible store bought sugar cookies that everyone bangs to parties. Yeah, those are bad. Which means there are more for me. Don't you want to meet some of the people in the neighborhood? I'll probably end up standing com uncomfortably in the corner with a plate of food and hope that nobody talks to me. That is so me. Dad, your beautiful work in progress. You will get that butterfly to emerge from the cocoon. The social butterfly. Well, we better get start getting ready. Definitely don't want to be late. What? No, we have to be fashionable when we're late. Who shows up to a cookout on time? You know what? We're going early, just because you said that. Thor and Amanda Renthony follows. We walk across the street to Joseph's house with a store-bought veggie plate. I'm a terrible cook if it doesn't involve a girl. And as early as we thought we were. Joseph's backyard is already packed with people and the smell of hot dogs wiped through the air. Small children run through a sprinkler and those chats in small clusters. It's too out of village. Huh. Hey, there's Joseph. The moment he sees it, jocks over, arms open wide. Welcome! I'm so glad you two are here! And you brought veggies! Let me introduce you to my family. Kids, come on over here. This is Chris, my oldest. Hi! This is Christian and Christy. They're twins. They stare creepily and say nothing. <laughs> then, of course, there's our youngest, Chris. Wait, where is Chris? Maybe Mary put him in his crib. No, it's the woman from the bar the other night. What is she doing here? Oh, and how could I forget my lovely wife, Mary? Turn on the cheek, and she smiles. Oh, no. Oh, Mary, sweetheart, did you put Chris to bed? I'll have to go look for him. Whatever do you mean? You'll have to go look for our son. What? You'll have to... Just takes a moment to regain his composure. Mary, this is our new neighbor, Alec, and his daughter. I'll shake your hand, but I have a glass of wine that I need to attend to. Love her. Nice to meet you, Mary, for the first time. Charm. Well, I have to go over there now. Mary leaves. Oh, God, this is so awkward. I wonder if Joseph knows. I wonder if Mary knows that Joseph knows. I wonder if Joseph knows that Mary knows that I know. It takes all of my energy not to run away from barbecue and start fresh in a new city. My wife has a wonderful sense of humor, but please, you two enjoy the barbecue. All the guys are really excited to meet you. Some of the food spread on the table. I pick some devil eggs. Mena grabs a small paper plate and immediately begins piling it with baked goods. Ugh, I don't want to have make friends. Come on, Dad. Where are you going to party with when I go off to school? But I don't want to have to do pleasantries. Dad! Ugh, they're going to talk about weather. Go do it. Make a friend. But how could I possibly abandon my only child's social function? That's bad parenting. The plate of cookies is my new dad. Bye. Well, here goes nothing. I look around the party. I'm surprised to see some familiar faces. Isn't that the barista from the coffee spoon? Didn't I meet that guy at the bar? Didn't that guy throw a frisbee in my head? Isn't that the guy who was thrown a fit and dead got beyond? Isn't that Amanda's teacher? Hey, I know Craig. Wait a second. All these people live in our cul-de-sac? That can't be right. I better investigate. Craig. <laughs> I gotta go for Craig. Brought an intense discussion. Craig looks smiling. Say hello. It's fair to train compared to art movements like that. Periods in art only exist because they're a unique byproduct of the social and political. Three of my favorite people are together Hugo, Matt, and Craig. Best people ever. Just Damien's not here. Matt and Hugo seem to be busy talking so they don't notice me. Craig Linson. Dude, I have no idea what's happening. Turn my attention to Craig, who seems a little more tense to my existence. How's resistant training go the other day? Great! Little River here is a great cheerleader, aren't you, Tanny Bro? I zoom around. You can do it, Dad. I'm so proud of you. I'm so sorry for pooping on you. She must be a handful at that age. Oh, they always are. But it's so worth it. Craig grabs her for arms again and wipes them around. Sorry for throwing up on you, Dad. How you suddenly in? I never get too comfortable. I never know when they're coming. I can't get too close in one place and have go back near me. Burn a phone, hair dye, fake crash. You know the deal. Stay on your toes, bro. I'm like, how are you liking the neighborhood? 
pretty nice. Everybody's been super friendly. Seems like your daughter's feeling in just fine. Where Amanda, Daisy, and another young girl are playing, they're all sitting cross-legged in the grass, picking weeds and weaving them little flower crowns. Pretty adorable. The girl I don't recognize shocks over to us. What is it, sweetheart? It's a flower crown. I thought you'd look cute in it. Well, there's only one way to find out. Matt takes the flower crown and places it on top of his head. Am I cool now? Girl stares at him, thinking over. Hmm, nope. But you still, you're slightly less uncool than you were before you put it on. Hey, hey, I like this. My daughter. Hello. I'm Car our Carmen Carmencita. Carmencita. Amanda comes over with Daisy and Tal. Dad, look, I'm making friends. Are you making friends? You better be making friends. Yeah, actually, Amanda, you remember that cool barista from the coffee shop, my old college friend, and uh, your teacher. Oh, hi, Mr. Vega. I didn't realize we were neighbors. <laughs> yep. You still gonna give me that ordeal term paper? Haha, <laughs> great seeing you. I come to in like a champ. I learned the finger gum. I'm very proud. She's definitely a charmer. Speaking of which, where did my son go? And you must finally spot him because his eyes go wide. Ernest! Ernest Hemingway Baker, are you smoking? Is it cigarette? Nope. Unbelievable, excuse me. Turn my attention to Matt and Craig. Kids, right? Man, I do not envy Hugo. The last barbecue we had, Ernest tried to shove a sparkler down Joseph's pants, nearly burned down half the yard. The barbecue we had before that, he actually burned down half the yard. Then it spread on my lawn, burned down half my yard too. Frankly, dragging Ernest behind him. Hey, everybody, sorry about that. Alec, this is my son, Ernest. Hello. Wait, sulking, his hands shoved deep in his pockets. Hugo nudges him impatiently. What's up? Hey, nice to meet you, Ernest. What grade are you in? Does it matter? Ness. Okay, okay, I'm in eighth grade. God, are you happy now? I'm sure you were just dying to know. Uh, yeah, good for you. Now go now, I'm tired of talking to old dudes who blame my generation for the failing economy. <laughs> Ouch. Ernest. Oh, yeah, because I'm totally embarrassing you. Well, so certainly something. He seems nice. Ted and Hannah aside, I'm so sorry. He's having a really tough, rough time. As much as I want to be the cool dad, I have to be the Torian, a, the Torian dad and clearly resents me for it. I mean, I think as a dad and teacher, that's about as a, a Torian as he can get. Honestly, are any of us cool dads even possible to be a cool dad? What? I'm a cool as a cucumber. See that right there? You can't say that. Kids think I'm cool. But for how long, Craig? How long do we get to be the cool dad? I uh, don't know. Then we just accept the fact that as dads, we become the machine we once rage against and set our fate to unrightly wear socks and sandals. You kids may think you're cool now, but when they hit puberty, you're doomed. Amanda's 18. She still thinks I'm cool. Daughter. Amanda, I'm cool, right? Laughs. She keeps laughing. I see your point. As much as we all want it, I don't think it's important to be a cool dad as it is to be a good dad. We can't all be best friends with our kids. It doesn't work. I mean, look at me in earnest. Our job as parents make sure our kids turn out okay. Yeah, you're right, but it'd be nice to have it both ways. These guys talk about this mixed thing in my relationship, Amanda. We get along so well, but there might be come time when it won't be like that. Is college when that happens? Don't let us sleep up your time. Go meet some of the people around the neighborhood. Go talk to... Robert and Brian. Okay. Was Robin Brian trying? Man, I don't think I want to deal with being one up by Brian or whatever happened with Robin Brian. The cop is staring. Oh no, Brian's waving me over. Shoot! So I walk over to them. Hey guys, Alec, how the heck are you? Sound the neighborhood all right? Oh, you betcha. I got the living room in order at least. That's great to hear. I've been doing some living room work as well. Finally got the fifty in there. The game looks great and high stuff. Oh boy, Alec, have you met Robert yet? Yeah, we met. Left me over his whiskey. Good seeing you again. We were just talking about my most recent camera trip. Spent a night in the woods with Daisy and Maxwell. She definitely an outdoorsy type. Even caught her first fish. It's good to see you taking your daughter out like that. I bet she loved it. And it's great that she loves the outdoors. Mine loves being inside. Brian raised his hours on me. Being inside making art. She won a local competition for that art. Yep. Did I put it in too strongly? Robert stares at me blankly for a second. Anyway... I haven't gone camping in years, not since the last time. Same here, well, things change once you have a kid. Wait, what happened last time? Robert takes a long sip of whiskey. 
Well, old Johnny Boy and me were on the back crunchy. Johnny's voice shrunken. Made him my army days. Comes from Kansas. They build him tougher out there. Always things go sour pretty quickly. Johnny breaks sink when the rope brings smack. You see the bone popping out through his skin. Johnny Boy screaming out, crying for his mama, losing blood. We're two days out from the next living zone. Here I am, with the different bleeding out of him. I'll dress the wound, but now I got a fireman. Carry six foot, 180 pound man over his toughest train I've ever been in. There were moments during those two days where I thought about leaving old Johnny, but you build a bond with your brothers in arms, and that bond never breaks. I got that boy back to civilization, but I love some of me out there. Guess that's camping for you. All right, nice turn this belief. Robert takes another long sip of whiskey. I'm just kidding. My friend John and I went in there tubing down the river. He lost a flip flop, missed that kid. Left nervously. <laughs> Where am I kidding? <sighs> Burn that tense up again. I'm kidding. Phew. <laughs> then Daisy bear up to us. I think Daisy is holding the paper plane in front of her like a steering wheel. Gotta get off this hunter truck. Oh no, the ghost locked doors. Quick, hit the emergency escape button. But trucks don't have emergency escape button. Uh, then hit the brake, I guess. Then we'll get out of the truck. The emergency truck. The wave, we're safe from the ghost. But how we ever survive in a toxic tundra, Daisy might have to eat me. Are you prepared to do that? I'm prepared to do anything to survive. That's cold blooded. I like that. Although I'm not sure I have the materials for car to properly cook you. You know, that reminds me of the last time I went skiing. Robert! Wait a second, are you guys playing Long Haul Ice Show Paranormal Ghost Truckers? Yeah! Man, I love that show. It's the best, especially that episode where Callum hides Flint keys and Flint retaliates by breaking an Asian curse, urine, sending in the spirit after, and yeah, it's such a quality reality TV show. Watch a whole lot of television, but I do enjoy that show at that and wearing documentaries. Robert, we get you have trauma. <laughs> Alright. I found us a couple of bucks. They're gonna make a great meal. Lots of protein. Gonna keep us from starving out here in the harsh, icy wasteland. But there's a whole table of food right over. They see it's a game. We're playing pretend. It's what kids do. Live a little. They give Stacy a handful of gummy worms from the sack table. They eat them with a mug disgust. Let's go find Kinley for a fire. Okay, but not an actual fire. Because we're playing pretend? Now you're getting it. What a cute couple of kids. Man, I've never seen her get along with anyone so quickly. Guess her man and just has some war way kids. That's kind of amazing. Daisy doesn't really go on with kids her age. Hmm, it's nice that he's not trying to one-up me this time. Maybe we can have a regular friendship after all. Really? She just kind of keeps to herself. Her teacher says she spends every recess in the library. I think other kids are intimidated by her intelligence. There it is. Wouldn't worry about it too much. Amanda was shy. Daisy stage two used to have a habit crawling on her tables and crying every time we took her to a restaurant. Should be people too. Oh, kids, right? Gotta love them. You're required by you're required to by law. I hear that. Well, since they're getting along so well, maybe we should try to put together a little play day for them. They do seem to be getting along really well, but the thought of con continually hearing about all of Brian's accomplishment is rough. Yeah, that'll be nice. Well, I don't want to take up too much of your time. Go meet some of the other fellows. And now let's talk to Joseph and Damien. I saw Joseph chatting up with some. The guy from Dead Got Beyond by the grill. I wonder what they're talking about. I walk over to them. So I'm curious. Can you walk me through why you had your house painted black? Where do I even start? The house stays warm in the winter. It provides an artistic contrast to the house for the rest of the neighborhood. And it complements the crimson interior perfectly. Definitely an uh, interesting choice. <laughs> Thank you. I'm very proud of my abode. I like. I was just having a conversation with Damien here about his aesthetic design decision. Damien regards me up and down with a warm but critical eye. How do you do? I don't believe I've had the pleasure. I think I saw you and Dad got beyond the other day. Damien's face turns bright red. I must apologize my behavior and that you see I take the goth life lifestyle very seriously and to be caught in a ruse by such cooperation as Dad got beyond was profoundly frustrating indeed. I hope that you know that while my anger of me justified was no such way of gentleman to act. It's okay man. Do tell me about yourself. Are you new to the area? Yes, my daughter and I just moved in the other day. She was the only one I took to death got beyond. Very good taste in her part. Does she partake in the goth lifestyle? I think for a second. I look over to my house hang out with some older kids in the neighborhood. Hey, Amanda! Would you consider yourself goth? Yells back. I wouldn't necessarily try to fall underneath any one specific label, but I guess if I had to choose, I would more describe myself as a twee hipster with some norm core leaning. Bats are cool, though. Ah, pity. Are you enjoying the party so far? Definitely. Thanks so much for putting this on. It's nice to be in a cul-de-sac where everyone is so friendly and welcoming. Amanda walks with the conversation. I also like The Lost Boys a lot. Really good movie. Does that count as God? 
That it would be, my dear. I don't believe we've had the pleasure of meeting. Damien Bloodmark, at your service. Finish the sentence with flourish and a bow, producing a single rose and offering Amanda. And the blushing returns to get you with a curtsy. My, do you know how to treat a lady? Hello, Amanda. Seemingly out of nowhere, Joseph's twins appear. Uh, are they speaking in unison? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Will you come play with us? Uh, come play with us forever. Guys, enough with the, the creepy twin skit. Squit. We've talked about this. Christian and Christian slowly back away. Where do you think they got that from? Mary pumps into the conversation we're in the hand. I uh, don't know. Mary takes a long sip of wine. I think I might have taped over Veggie Tales VHS with the shining. Who knows? Takes another sip of wine. Where's Chris? Wasn't he with you? You had him a moment ago. He's probably stuffing dirt in his mouth. He'll be alright. Toddlers are pretty resilient. Mary tips her glass to me. Ain't my first time to the rodeo. It's my fourth. I've squeezed four little sweeter. Are we do me a favor and find, please find Chris? That would be great. I'm sure he's fine. Mary. Okay, jeez. Mary finishes wine and wanders off. Dad, can we go now? Uh, Lucian, have I introduced you to Alec yet? Hey, it's that punk from Manda's school. Who are you? Whatever. It's no way for a young man to speak to his editors. Be polite. Bells. Whatever, sir. Press again. Mr. Christiansen, may I have a veggie or burger, sir? Come in right up, bud. Are you a vegetarian? Yep. Make that two veggie burgers. Do you know that some people in Victorian era were vegetarians? They described carnivores type people as blood lappers. Dad... That's really interesting. Damien just turns to the girl, just hint of tattoo peeks out from underneath his sleeves. I can't believe they didn't notice before. It looks like the bottom of an anchor. Whoa, is that a tattoo? Yep. I wasn't always a you pastor, you know? That's so cool. Wanna see mine? What? Revealing a loop side six 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 and blanky. What did you give me a stick and post tattoo last week? I think it's healing up pretty good. Lucian. We'll talk about this later. It's pretty cool. What's the sign of his tattoo? I don't know. I just thought it looked sick. Well, in my opinion, the only reason you need to get two is because you want one. Careful, though. That number carries weight. Man, Joseph is way co cooler than you, Pastor, and I thought I just figured you, Pastor, popped out of the womb with a Bible. wonder what he did before he was preaching. He's in a fucking cult! Not for ado, let's work some magic. Size, take deep breath. You see, best girl work I've ever seen. You guys think this is my first time in front of a girl? He's working faster now. I've at least tossed in cheese and patty. <clears throat> Perfectly grilling onions on the side. One after another, the dad takes notice crowd around Joseph to Myers massive You probably didn't know this, Alec, but Joseph's known around here for his friendly mischief. He's ungrillable. I've tried to get on his level, but I just can't catch up. Let us keep studying. He has a rare quality about it. Muster we, miss, muster, we keep talking about the. Can we just appreciate the artist? Never seen him make a mistake. Okay, we need to stop. This is getting too cheesy. Please stop. All the children at the party boo the glorious display of puns in unison. Alright, guys, the food's ready. Please form an orderly barbecue. We all grab food and hang out. Enjoying the perfectly cooked cheeseburgers. We need to stop. So wow, how all of us dads we look the same cold as that. Kind of nice, isn't it? Look, there's real community here. It totally helps when you're a single dad trying to raise kids. We're happy to have you here, man. I think you're going to like this neighborhood a lot. Plus, Amanda seems to be getting along well. If she decides to get into babysitting game, she really make a killing. Hey, why don't you add us all in the dad book? Dad book? Yeah, it's a great social network for dads to keep in touch with each other. We're all in it, so if you ever need to reach out to anyone, that's a simple way to do it. Sorry, I'm just an old-fashioned dad, so it should be need to go somewhere in my head sometimes. Don't worry, Pops. I'll help you figure it out. The rest of the barbecue goes smoothly. We all trade stories and drink beers as our kids play on the lawn. Amanda breaks up a fight between Carmesita and those weird things. Thing they want her soul. Poor. Amanda and I walk back to her place. Sun says over a pretty fun party, don't you think? I felt like I was... I mean, I got a burger in me. Right now, and not this, but if you were not, I was so for the silver lining. The silver lines get you through the other side. We ate a rock and burger. That was good. Men. Well, hey, at least you met some cool dads. You should hit them up on dad book. Maybe I will if I ever figure out how social media works. I have a good feeling about this place. Me too, dad. Aww. 
Veggie place seems like nobody was really in the call far. Any big plans for this evening? Actually, yeah, I'm going out with some friends. Oh, is that okay? Of course, just keep me posted and be home before midnight. You got it. Be careful. I will. Make good choices, of course. And call me if you need anything. Dad, you're not going to do the thing where you wait silently for me to come home in the room with all the lights off, are you? What? No, I've never done that and I want to do that. Okay, do you have plans tonight? I, uh... But I'll find something else. I'm gonna... Work on some stuff. You know, dad stuff. I'm just relaxing tonight. Have fun, okay? Great. See you later. Hope she has fun. I'll pop down in front of TV and turn on some wine and dine mastermind with some celebrity Gavin Chapman. Looks like Gavin making a roasted rack of lamb with rosemary and mashed potatoes. I love to cook like that, although I think if I was really good at cooking, I'll use my powers for evil. Like just making baked Alaskas all day instead of any food of real nutritional substance. Man, Gavin Chapman just caught that thing on fire, but he meant to. What a professional. A shock of time, so I blazed through several episodes of Wine Down and Master Realms on one episode of some cooking show called Meat Hell. I'm not even sure what about it, it was just a lot of yelling. To my watch, man, it's almost midnight. I should check in with Mendes in a text. Hey, kiddo, you good? Let's wait for a reply. Mendes' phone is always on her hand, so I'm sure she responds soon, unless she's driving home now, which is the case, I hope she doesn't respond. Definitely taught her better than to text drive. Grab an ice cream sandwich. It's a little late for this, but I think I'll earn it after a long day of socializing. Again? And then my phone, nothing. Yes. Hmm. I can see now I'm worried. Do I call her? Do I call the cops? No, 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 no. It's too soon for that. I just sent her a gentle mind. What's up? An hour passes. Now I'm really worried. The episode of Gavin Chesney her not only assuaging my sanity, but possibly was carrying with the yelling. So I keep pacing around the house waiting for her to come back. Why didn't I find out where she was going? Who was she even with? Why don't I know any of her friends' phone numbers? Why do I not even know her or any of her friends' phone names? Who is Emma P? Another text. Amanda, please text me. Let me know you're okay. But think of all the awful things that could have happened to her. God, it's her. Listen. Finally, finally, she's back home. Gosh, what's up? Sweetie, thank God you're safe. Uh, yet? Yeah. Now I think, no, she's gonna really mad. Why didn't you answer my text? Oh, whoops. I guess I didn't see those. Starts to walk to them. Amanda, Anne. Oh, well, we're pulling out the window name now? You came home an hour and a half after your curfew. You didn't respond to any of my texts. You really freaked me out. I was about to call the cops. Dad, you're seriously overacting. You're not going to be like this when I go off to school, are you? I have a right to be concerned. I was scared. You're my only daughter. Well, I can't give you a play-by-play -play of everything to do all the time. I'm 18. You shouldn't even give me a curfew in the first place. I'm very tired of a sudden. I'm really scared of me. Just please don't do that again. All right. I'm gonna go to bed now. Oh, I'm sorry, Amanda. And I head to mine. Jeez. As I'm falling asleep, one thing she said keeps sticking in my mind. You're not gonna be like this when I go off to school, are you? I sleep well last night. I brew some strong coffee, make some trouble with my peace offering. Wanders in the kitchen. Hey. I thought about what you said last night. I should have texted you. I said I was gonna do it, and I didn't. I honestly just didn't even think about it. I'm really sorry. Pops, I won't do it again. Oh, thank you for following. I'm over here reading. I trust you to make good choices. Choice choices? I swear I can speak. I trust you to make good choices, Amanda. I also thought about it. I'm gonna try to give you space from here on out. I gotta trust you that you can take care of yourself. Team Legula Leo Aguilar. Team Leo Aguilar. And it gives me a hug. Want some eggs? Scrambled? You know it. Sprinkle some cheese on them? Yup, already did. Bless you. Man discovers down the eggs in time. It takes me to wash the pan. Alright, I'm off to school. Smell you later. Wait, one more thing before you go. What? What's that book? It's a social media platform. Wait. What? What's a social media platform? Dad, I have to go to school. Come on, man. I'm an old man. I can put together can't put together a dad book profile on Raya. I'll help you something sound interesting on the internet. Man, this one's enough couple minutes to know a profile on dash. Dad book. Which is turned out to a place where dads can get together and talk about fatherhood. Is that a thing? I wish I was. Is that a thing? That's basically Facebook at this point. Alright, Pops. We gotta fill out your profile. Let's get some likes and dislikes. 
Ew, yeah, let's get some likes and dislikes. On Friday night, you are most likely to sleep in. There should definitely be a dad book in real life. Like, but I guess that's Facebook. <laughs> Polish and sort my coin collection. Netflix and grill, baby. Hey, I am that sink into blissful oblivion sleep. Who doesn't love sleep? If you have one thing to take with you onto a desert island, what would it be? My trusty girl. You can tell that's Joseph. Cast away on DVD. How the fuck are you going to watch that DVD? I don't need anything. My survival skills have trained me for this day. Same. What are your turn-ons? Strong dad arms. Tennis shoe with long white socks. Well manicured on. That is a turn on. Street smarts. Comfortable with crying. I'm going with that one. I don't know who I'm getting. I'm getting somebody straight out of the block. What do you be when you be when you grow up? The president of space. A pro skater who's also an astronaut. That sounds cool. Fucking hog. Uh. What's your favorite movie genre? Anything on Laserdisc. Whatever will make me cry. Oh, comedies that have an h -O. You know what I miss? Parody movies. Parody movies where everything. But we can't do them anymore. But parody movies, especially the scary movies. Like, um... Oh my god, every every high school movie ever, or like Vampire Suck, which was like making fun of Twilight. Oh my god, Twilight was Twilight was everything. I remember watching that stuff, and I remember watching Twilight in theaters, especially Twilight Breaking Breaking Dawn Part Two. That that one broke. That one broke the theater and made everybody cry at the ending. I, everybody screamed at the ending. What will make me cry? Oh. Romantic comedies. I'll say old comedies that have. I don't know. Whatever made me cry. I want documentaries. So it's like. Anything on laser disc, I'll say. Yes, <laughs> heard. Twilight was amazing. It, it really was. Like, that was like. Something there. And then you go back and see. I've, I haven't watched Twilight in a while. And I kind of want to watch it again. And be like. Oh my god, we've gone somewhere with, you know, acting and everything. What's your ideal day napping together? That sounds fun. Hel eating a healthy dinner at 4 p.m. Try and go, 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 I swear, arson. Yeah, let's burn some stuff together. Arson! It's still good. Just there's some moments where you're like, oh my god, that's cringe. And before you were like, oh my god, this is the coolest thing ever. Now you now you can see the cringe moments. Yeah, there's some there's those terrible actions where you're like, uh, okay. Like there's certain things and then I see on TikTok people make fun of it a lot and I love the way people interpret things like like Bella staying like months just sitting there, not like basically because Edward left her. And the the months go by and people are and then I remember one is like, Oh my god, Bella, haven't you gone take a shower? Oh my god, you stink. Have you really been up here? Like they're saying stuff like that. What do you never leave home without? My sick babe. I don't do that. A cool knife. My crippling low self esteem. I need that. I'm sorry, but that is something that never leaves. Yes, the depressed Bella era. That was everything. Dude, seeing Bella go, like, Bella, what are you thinking? And especially when she goes on the biker's bite, and you're like, what the hell, Bella, are you thinking? I remember back in the day, the, the team Edward and team Jacob was so strong. I was team Jacob, though. I still am team Jacob. <laughs> time to think about conspiracy theories how proud i i just realized what i said <laughs> conspiracy theories not the other word i cannot speak english today when i can get my next cup of coffee 
If I ever love myself as so much as I love my... That's Joseph. But I am my next cup of coffee. Charlie. In the books, Charlie is a better father. Is an actually a decent parent compared to Bella's mother in the books. Like, y the books are so much better than the movies. You can kind of see where Bella... Like, it, there's character and everything. How, in a lot of... There's some, like... I've seen these TikToks where they portray Bella as the, you know what? She had to pay the bills young and everything. Because her mother was always away. It's no bad. Yeah, that was actually kind of fun. I could totally spend all day on here just looking at people's profiles. You should mess with one of them or more than one of them. All of these dads seem pretty interesting. Okay, I promise I'll make some friends. That's me. I don't talk to people outside in real life. <laughs> Gives me a hug. Go get him, dad. Oh, Amanda. I hope I get the good and the win, Amanda. <laughs> you got that. Oh my god, Amanda. Hey, Alex, it's me, your dear old friend from way back in the day, Dan Manda. I'm delighted to see you sign up for Dadbook. They've recently had this exciting new messenger service. So you can, may find yourself receiving messages from other dads like myself. Take care not to miss them. Is that you? What are you doing? Hey, Alex, I never. We've known each other since business school. How could you possibly confuse me for your amazingly talented, easy to buy things for daughter? Though I, of course, flatter. You should buy things. You should buy Amanda more things. Man, you know I don't even go to business school. I barely even managed to get my degree. Wait, no. Wow. I didn't say that. You never heard that. This is gold. I was a great student, I swear. I graduated at the top of my class because I worked hard and ate all my veggies, vegetables. Totally holding on to this to later for blackmail, dad. Wait, do you even remember what I majored in? Decline to comment. Cool. Ooh, who should I go for? I heard the door. My dude at home? Craig. I love Craig. But I don't know who to go for. Should I go Matt? I might go Matt. I think I'm going to go Matt. Perfect my cold brew setup. The dynamic with Amanda is cool. It's just, I think I've, it depends on the way to get the good ending. I don't know how that worked again. It's been a while. Perfectly my cold brew set up. One drip at a time, baby. Fine tunes to pass the day away. Burst the world enough shit with subtitles. You know what? We're going to go with Matt. You see, Matt is me. Matt is the epitome of me. He is what I wish to be. I navigate to Matt's dad book and type out a message. Hey man, great getting to see you at the barbecue. We should definitely hang soon. You free later? I hear things in response. Hey, do you be so down for that? I'm actually catching a show tonight at the South Garden. Wanna come out? Matt is that person. <laughs> it's a concert venue, but also a band that a lot of people listened to back when it was cool to have soul patches. Excuse me? <laughs> uh, it really was like a time where you could have soul patches. <laughs> that shit was funny. Dude, as someone who's been in freaking concerts, it's fun. Just wear the freaking thing, earplugs, when you go to concerts, because you're going to damage your hearing. Damaging your voice is something, but damage your hearing, e. Well, I'm thinking, another message pops up to the screen. Pup is playing tonight. Cool little indie pop band. Pump, pop punk band out of Canada. Should be a fun one. Pop punk. Yes, the good old cringy days. I know, right? Oh my god, I've seen... <laughs> we have MySpace, we have like, you know... I 
I when I think pop punk, the first band that comes to mind in that genre is Set It Off, right now. Cause I love listening to them. Yeah. <laughs> I log off to that book. I've been to concerts and I don't carry earplugs with me for the fact that I'm... And I've been at the front row, so you know my ears are going to be damaged. But my voice at the end of those concerts is gone. I dry out my voice. Log off that book and think for a second, wait, when was the last time I went to a concert? A year ago. I mentally backtrack decades through memories of them in jean jackets and moral panic over teenagers turning to the cult. Oh god, I had a mullet back then. Oh god, I thought it was cool. Oh god, other people thought it was cool. I finally remember the strange 80s prog rock I used to listen to. Meant to listen all of the other airbrush fans in the park. Like, oh my god, everything was airbrush. Oh my god, I still have my airbrush clothes. How did anyone survive the 80s? I'm not that old. Not 80s old. Okay, so I haven't been to a concert in a long time. What do you even do at concerts now? I'm not even that old. I'm just, I just know my stuff. And was raised by somebody. I always thought I was cool. At least relative to a bunch of other dads my age. Dad, what are you doing? Look over to see Amanda at the door. Just getting home from school. Her eyes are a little puffy. Almost as if she'd been crying. Amanda, are you okay, baby? Yeah, Set It Off is one of the bands I love listening to. But the bands I've seen live are... Bowling for Soup. Great band. Uh, motionless and white, fallen in reverse. Um, May they parade when it, I went to Warp Tour. Yeah, acid wash then, and yeah, that was definitely a thing. Um, I've I went to Warp Tour, the very last Warp Tour there ever was. I went to it. Warp Tour was my shit. Um, I went to see Holland Dead, Cypress Hill, Dead to Society. Um. My goal, little puffy almost has been crying. Hey, what's wrong, panda? Oh, nothing. I'm fine. Oh, it's got that because I realized that society collective refuses to take pop music seriously, despite the fact that some of the most interesting musical innovations are coming out of that entry. Motionless. Uh, I love like they're not they're not my top ten band, but I do like their music and. I would listen to them, and that's and I had a my friend introduced me to them when I went to Warp Tour, cause she's like, here, let's go see this band, you know. I think it's just yet yeah, another thing about we write off because we can't take young women or their interests seriously. Man, I remember Nicki Minaj when she first came into the scene. I remember everybody wanted them, wanted her and their album in a future before she even came out with an album of her own that's all you, you have to tell me are you sure that's all you're upset about i'm not gonna push if there's you know anything going on i just want you to know that i'm here for you and i'll always be here for you when you need a shoulder to cry on or a strong dad to go kick someone's butt i'm only a phone call away thanks popsicle appreciate that but i'm fine really I'm unconvinced, but I'll stop battering her about it. I'm sure she'll tell me when she's ready. Yes, don't push the kid. Definitely don't push the kid. I don't have kids yet, but I'll try not to. I think the, like, right now, the band I mostly listen to is Hollywood and Dead. I love their music, but I mostly have been listening to too much R&B for a long time. Like, I listen to a dude called Somo. When I'm driving, I just put one of my playlists on. <laughs> I have so many of them. Like, I have so many random playlists named. I mean, what's up? Amanda, how do I be cool? Let me put on a pot of coffee first. It's going to be a long night. But, you know, seriously, Matt invited me to a concert. I don't think I've been to one since you were born. Yeah, you have. You took me once when I was 12, remember? Run by memory of Sea of Screaming Preteens. The mosh pits. The mosh pits are fun. God, I tried so hard to forget. 
That one where I had to camp out with you in line so that you could get a good spot and then you cried and screamed the whole time? Dad? Dad, it was much more than that. I'm not even ashamed to say it. Oh, you're not ashamed? You seem pretty ashamed when I found all those drawings you made of those dancing boys kissing in your trapper keeper. Yeah, well, you didn't even find the good stuff. Anyway, you should be all set for concert if you remember that. Just bring big glittery sign and cry a lot. You'll fit right in. Mosh Purple Sun, no, right? <laughs> one of my friends, like, I, I, one of my friends actually got brought up on stage at Warp Tour, and it was the best thing ever. He was singing along with the band. It was dope seeing him do that. But in what's well, smaller place, and I think Matt mentioned that they're a punk band, like the white glitter punk, trash, straight edge. Come on, Dad, give me something to work here. Are they post punk, proto punk, scene punk, Jeremy punk? What's Jeremy punk? I made that one up to see if I could get away with it. They're not positive hardcore, are they? Uh, he said that they're Canadian punk. Oh yeah, you'll be fine. Does the idea Canadian punk seem contrary to you? What's wrong with the Canadians, man? I don't see a friendship politeness core towards the punk scene. Well, punk is kind of a big genre that might not be as dangerous as you think. It becomes so much more than just con counter culture rebellion. What I'm trying to say is just enjoy the music. That's it. I mean, yeah, it's not like you're going to jump into the mosh pit or anything. Well, that's comforting. Com comforting. Comforting. Oh my god, I know my I know how to speak, yet I struggle. Shouldn't do it in your set. Your goals hoodie offers you to buy merch. Don't accept it. Definitely didn't go on three awful dates with him afterwards where he takes you to a nice restaurant and then he forgets his wallet literally three times in a row. What? Never mind. Just have a blast tonight. Amanda, do we need to speak about you not accepting merch from dudes? I remember NF was talking about how people will bring fake merch. I show up to the coffee spoon at 8 in what I hope is concert appropriate attire. I sit my front locking door to the shop. Hey, you made it. Ready for a night? Yeah, of course. I definitely know what I'm talking about. Ready? I was born really ready. Should I be honest? Well, it's been a while. Sushin, any outcome? I can handle it. I sleep with one eye open. I'm prepared to kill. Are you? Uh, oh. Oh fuck, I fucked up. Oh god, oh god. Oh <gasps> no, I'm sorry, I had to backtrack. Well, it's been a while. Since pet rocks were cool, I have no idea what I'm in for. Did your daughter make you take her one of those boy bands cons where everybody holds signs, scream cries? Yeah, I got two lined up next month. I still can't get the glitter out of my car from the last one. Stay strong. But dude, I get to take you to your first concert in a long time. This is going to be awesome. Just hang with me, Alec, and you'll be good. This seems super supportive. It'll be a blast. Quick question. Shoot. What is scene? Matt lets a tiny laugh. Sorry, sorry. It's just weird because scene can describe a music scene. Oh my god, the scene days. Everybody was trying to be seen. Oh. We were all trying to be the tight jeans, the eyeliner. I'm reminiscing now. <laughs> you see, I was doing that to one of the games and I got called out for it. <laughs> I just saw the black and I was like, nope, I'm not doing this with him. I'll even restart the whole thing. Matt looks in the middle distance. He says nothing, but I can tell he's thinking ever again. That's confusing. You'll get it. The important thing tonight is that you enjoy yourself. Come on, let's head to the show. Trey <laughs> pins. I saw a small venue with a stage at one end and bar at the other. Most people here are closer to man to age than my ass. Only feel very out of place. You know, when I go to my concerts, I see people my age, but I see people older than my age. But there's people definitely younger and more at concerts. 
but the concert I one time went to was 18 and plus and they couldn't get in. <laughs> so, yeah. Will Amanda still love me as we broke her order? Wait, is C Punk actually a Dondre? Matt, you made it. A younger kid runs up and high fives Matt. The kid runs up and Matt turns to me, shuddering. Get nervous when people surprise high five me. <laughs> me too. I'm like a small animal. I don't know. It's just a large group of people fighting me. Oh, Matt, you're like me. Do you also enjoy curling up in a patch of sunlight? Oh my god, I do that. Like, you ever. So, if you're ever, like, outside and you find that perfect heat of the sun and you just lay there, you feel like you have that perfect heat surrounding your body. Makes me just feel so safe and be able to fall asleep. Like, one time in class, I fell asleep. We went outside, it was a law class. And, um, we were on the sidewalk. They were doing a traffic stop. We were practicing our traffic stops. And, um, I was laying down on the sidewalk. And I fell asleep just there. And the teacher let me. Because I had already done mine. Do you also enjoy curling up in a patch of sunlight to take a nap? That's my favorite thing to do. <laughs> Park naps, yeah. Oh my god, chugging monsters, making making stuff for monsters is very cool, honestly. It's my favorite thing to do. Other people notice that Matt's in the crowd yell hey as well. Matt waves and hugs a couple of people. He seems really in his element here. Matt turns attention back to me. I'm so afraid of all these people. <laughs> oh, let's go grab a beer. Matt and I line up to the bar in the back where a couple of other, older concert goers hang out. A couple more people notice Matt and tempt their drinks to him. Seems like you're a popular guy out here. Oh yeah, I go to a lot of shows. It's a really cool spot. But it's times like these where I realize I can only be charming and funny for about five minutes before I run up to stop talking about saying Matt. Matt, you are me. I can barely keep a conversation going if it weren't for my dude. <laughs> he just brings me back into conversation like, hey, you play Clash? <laughs> be laughing so much a water burger am i right what imagine explaining that to somebody out of the country i mean out of the state damn out of the state of texas damn why am i here matt is so relatable i love his tattoos and then i become keenly aware of where my hands are and that there's no comfortable place in your mouth for your tongue to rest. Matt. No. That is so true though. God damn it. Where did I put my tongue? <laughs> See? Well. I've known you for more than five minutes. And I still think you're charming and funny. Just you wait. Grab our drinks. This. This scene. Seems really friendly. I don't know why people would want to admit that they listen to it. Hell, let's check out the merch. My dude is living life right here. Small in the corner of the room. Our crusty looking teenager guards a selection of shirts and records. He singles me out of from across the room, hops up in the chair. Step on up, get your merch here. I got t shirts, I got tank tops, I got all gifts and merch. Goes taste might want you. I guess for myself, face flush and red. Yes, you. You look like a fellow who knows their music. How about a fine 12 inch long plain Bentley record made a shoe by Pup Canada Premier Punk Rock Opera? <laughs> Please stop yelling at me. Kind of one edge because nobody here appreciate if you could stop sending me out. I'm sure you could cool, but it's making me a little uncomfortable. Hops down one of the chairs. You got it. Sorry about that. I just get really excited about salesmanship. Can't relate, but I appreciate you. And she has some non less. Hey, Pablo. Dude, I remember. So I always get VIP for concerts because I don't like waiting. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't like waiting. But I always get the standing area in my legs, in my body. It's not made for concerts anymore. I legit get home and I plop down. Eh, and I. E, my headphones fell down. My headphones fell down. I went to stretch. 
Your friend looked a little lost, so I figured I'd give him the old wrestle day. So how the hell are you, man? Day by day, my man. My country accent is trying to come out. I'm not letting it. They do that thing where they high five, but also turn into a hug. Yeah, that's what you do the... You know, you go slap the hand and you grab it and you do a fist bump. And you go like that. Saw, dude. I can't believe you fucking said that. I can't believe I just said saw, dude. Oh my god, I'm cringing on myself. Like, y'all remember when we used to use talk to the hand a lot? Like, uh, talk to the hand. This is all fleek. Low key, who the honestly, yeah. I love the green. I, my favorite color is green. Like, I love green. So anything green is a yes by me. Pablo is cool. Your mom's doing better? She's still single. If you want to be my dad, I can make that connect. And have to deal with you every single day? Fair enough. Who's your bud? That's Alec, though. I'll bring out a concert ball. Pablo's close to Matt. Is Alec cool? I am him back. He cracks a smile. Yeah. See? Somebody uses it. Somebody uses it. You know, I got... Yo, I had to explain what the hell VTS tape was. In a VCR. You know, typical stuff. Just like I had to explain what burnt... Burn, how what burning this meant it felt like I was dying and I'm not that old I'm actually young but I know this stuff because we used to do it a lot when I was a teen I remember I had an iPod and people will question me about it yeah Pablo brings in for a bro hug my dude not sure what to say, but give courtesy two pats on the back as customer in a society for people you know super well, but still want to be friendly to. Yes, I know, right? Pablo's a total card. Kid plays hail on the bass. Ooh, I just know my electric guitar. I have a friend who plays, who plays bass. I haven't touched my guitar in so long, though, because one of the chords broke and I need to go get the thing to replace it. Yeah, man, when are we starting our witch house band? You know, I'm out of the game. It's a shame, you know. Vank and Havel would have slayed. I'll slay once you start actually making music instead of just printing a bunch of band t-shirts. Got the sickest logo. While man Pablo talk, check out the merch. These shirts are really nice. Looks like the opener's coming on. Let's get a spot up close. Over the stage where a crowd begins to form. The band walks on stage and picks a variety of strange instruments. Instead of harp score, the lead singer addresses the crowd. He has a mandolin slung in his back. Hey, what's up, everybody? We're Jonathan Jones and the Speakeasy Choir. My name's Daniel. Why is the baby crying? Do I need to come out? I heard the baby crying. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I heard the baby crying. My name's Daniel. Let's start the show. Oh no, these guys. What? The time to respond. The band starts playing the most coconut nose I've ever heard. What is this? Doesn't say anything. He just hands me earplugs. Thanks. The earplugs and whatever the hell is salty my ears. Gets a lot quieter for the band. This is bad. They sure do seem having fun. I guess that's really matters. Oh god. Was the screen shaking or was it just me in my head? Jeez, that cell just, just break his bow in half. I don't get this. There's no breaks in the song, so I think one of the band members jobs specifically just to burn poetry on stage. Turn a man, try to start a conversation. So you got a lot of concerts out here, right? What? So you go to a lot of concerts out here, huh? What? Let me say I just stop and try and join the music. Okay, no, this is impossible. <laughs> I was gonna say, was I hallucinating or not? <laughs> How long has been playing the same song? 20 minutes, 20 years. Everywhere I go, B words always known. All these scenes got a 
that he loves to show what else the front say was part of the act he was carried off stage crying I think the worst that has happened is one of the band members fell off stage when we were there like he fell but caught himself Man, I both pour earplugs out. Man, that was something. I promise Pup is so much better. Just have a lot of questions that I don't know and never get the answers to. Oh, yeah. He strains his ankle at every show. They were being real about that. Let's grab another beer. Matt and I work our way to a crowd and back to the bar. More and more people find to the concert space. It gets closer to Main Act. It's getting kind of crowded here. But there are many people that I'm having a hard time keeping buzz. Work my way through the... Let's save, because I think that's where the part, the mini game. See, nothing but see, flip 20 something. Last time I want to find Matt here. Where's the exit? Are there even exits? What if I'm trapped in this building forever? Am I going to see my daughter ever again? What if Tara Ben gets back on stage? What if suddenly a hand reaches out to grab me? It's Matt. Almost lost you, buddy. Phew, I got really nervous for a second there. You and me both, dude. Takes my hand, leads me back towards the stage. You see, I'm short. I'm 5'1". And I'm short. That's why I'm very lucky that all the times I've gone to concerts, I'm always in the front. Or towards, I'm surrounded by somebody who's able to be there. But if you go to rock concerts, they're the most friendly people you're ever going to meet. They're going to be very grateful to you and everything. Leads me back towards the stage. Feel myself blushing. I remember one time I went to a concert and I saw one of my old teachers there. I made eye contact, saw the outfit she was wearing, and I'm like, you know what? I'm not even going to address this. I know, right? They're holding hands already. Finally settled back into her spot and wait for the band to start. Busy place, huh? Yeah, Pup really brings out a crowd. So you go to concerts a lot? Oh, yeah, it's one of my absolute favorite things in the world. I think it's one of the things to listen to music connect with. But when you're room full of people connecting with the music just the same way that you are, that's ma magic. That is so true. When you're singing along with people, you're just singing along with them. You're screaming. You all know the lyrics. You're crying. You're enjoying the moment. There's to pee. Curse this tiny dad bladder. Her put it that way. That's really beautiful. Also, I have to pee. Hurry up, man. They're about to go on. To curl towards the restroom. I really should have gone before I left the house. But Amanda was watching beauty videos in the bathroom. She had eye on her wig, wing going halfway across her face. Which is actually a pretty good look. So proud of her. Finally, but it's one of those single person falling. Oh no. The band starts. Crap. The people that were initially mulling around the venue all crowd against the stage. Just puff plays. First song. How am I ever going to find Amanda? It's like you're, it really does. It's like you're there and everybody's just connecting with you. Let's to my stage to watch Pup play. I'm sure Matt will be here too. I gotta get where without being trampled by these rowdy youths. Wait. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I feel like this game is so unfair. But is there actually a ban? Oh my god, I didn't know that was actually a ban. I'm trying really hard to avoid these scenes. You know what's a... 
I remember I used to listen to a lot of Animal Collective. E. Oh my God. Ah. My God, why is this so long? Oh my God, why is this song? Was I supposed to skip this? Oh. Okay, so I thought I was doing something wrong. Oh, is that good? That's good, right? Where Matt or Menorf shoot well, I guess I should keep looking. From him, I found myself in the middle of a bunch of youths running around in a circle to music. I'm in the pit. How do I get out of the pit? No, where you show himself to me, keeps moving in a circle. Hey, guess I'm moving in a circle now. Search for a way out, but all I can see is the ocean of youths running loose. Oh my god, it's the best thing. Now you slams to me and lose my band. What's the top over? This is it. This is how I die. Trample under the boots of contour. With my hand, someone familiar. Look up and see Matt. He pulls me up back into my feet. You're wild, dude. <gasps> Hi, Matt. Matt throws some around me. We jump back in circle, bashing into youths left and right as Pup plays a killer solo. You don't know you mess with the pig. Me neither. I leave this. I'm having fun. Yeah, my heart in that mini game was like, oh my god, I really gotta make this out. My leg slept, fell asleep. Huh. Song ends and the pit finally disappears. Everybody cheers on pup. We get enough pit energy for one song. <laughs> All right, man, let's retreat. We show these kids how it's done another day. More comfortable spawn. The crowd enjoyed the rest of the show from safe distance. Pup put on an amazing set. Basically, had to beg themselves off stage after their encore. The concert over. The crowd starts making their way to the exit. Hey, I'll meet you outside. Gotta say bye to a couple people. Aw, Matt, you're such a great guy. So Vanny until Matt finally shows up. Hey man, thanks for waiting. I got you a present. Oh, thanks man. Saw you eyeballing back at the merch book. Boo. Ain't anyone who tears it up that hard on the first time back to a concert deserves a reward. Aw, Matt. I've never taken this off. Continue wearing until it's tattered and a little smelly so that I can truly embody punk fashion. Hey Matt. Hey, it's Pup. Hey dude. Didn't realize you were here. Yo, it's... Well, I can make it. You guys put on a great show. Thanks. We'll see you around. Wait, you know Pup? Oh yeah, met him a couple times when they first started touring. Good kids. Oh man. I want to see if that actually how they look. Oh, huh, great. Pup's band. Huh. That's nice to know. They're actually a band. Whoa, come on, let's grab some dinner food. Someone really just hungry at you. Man, most much food take they really do. I'm always hungry after a concert. That's why you eat before and you hungry afterwards. Cause you've been jumping around, banging on the people, screaming your heart out. Yee. Maya and I walk to a tiny little diner with a cute neon sign. We tear into some bacon, eggs, and a corner booth. So there I am in the pit trying to explain the fastest tattoo guy that I didn't mean to evil him the face tattoo, but he's already seen red. Not from a tattoo, which currently was red. He's a lumbering towards me and there's nowhere to go. It's the end for me, right? Then I don't know where I get this D. I just lean back and spread my arms just like that. I'm crowd surfing away from him in slow motion. She's seen the look. Have y'all crowd surf? I haven't. I'm like... Like, I already have a problem with people touching me. I don't think I could physically crowd surf. Bought him a beer afterwards and we were cool. We still follow each other on social media. He has beautiful kids. <laughs> you know, actually, I think the worst experience I've had is with this band. I won't name drop them. But they hate one of the man members. Because I like to record stuff. And I would, I was enjoying, I just had the phone, like, down here. I've had, I had the phone down here, towards my chest. 
and I wasn't really I have the phone recording and the band member one of the band members was like afterwards was like you know you could have enjoyed the show a little bit I'm like what I was enjoying the show I was living my best life like yeah but you have your phone I'm like and it was it wasn't the main cat it wasn't the main band it was one of the you know the people who go before the band one of the leading acts and um And I was like, okay. And since then, I loved the band. I was like, I love the music they were playing. But since then, I have not liked that dude. That's why I don't. That's why I'm like, okay, that was one of the weirdest kind of rude experiences I've had with somebody. But everybody else who I've met, like, has been really cool. Like, I know people are like, oh, my God this person seems very rude like i know ronnie racky gets called out a lot and understandably i understand why um but he's actually a very cool dude bought him a beer afterwards we were cool he has beautiful kids it looks fun to crowd surf but then you get pushed you get moved back you can crowd surf but then you get moved back to the back you know of the concert. Once you crowd surf, you get thrown back. Glad you guys were. I remember when I went to see 303 at World Tour, they were fun. A lot of people were crowd surfing. I got to freaking. I remember when I met 303, I was freaking happy. I didn't get a photo with them, I just shook their hand. And that was the dopest thing I've ever done. Just like I've hugged Hollywood Undead because, you know, I met them before before concert for VIP. And afterwards, I've talked with them. Best fan ever. Love them. Yeah, man, just go show you that Punk's Not Dead. It just drives a minivan and has to hire a babysitter. How do you get to see all these amazing concerts? Oh, I used to tour in a band. We were small but got us trouble all around the States. We were in a band? Whoa, we were in a ska band. We were poor and we had to scare up a lot together to survive, but I wouldn't trade those experiences for anything. But yeah, that's how I knew a bunch of those people at the show. He's like this built an amazing community, especially in a town like this. There's a lot of positive energy and good vibes. I got that feeling. Plenty of friendly people. Especially that Pablo kid. Oh man, everybody loves Pablo. His mom's been raising him on her own. You can tell it's been tough on both of them. No, he looks up to me, so I try to help him out whenever I can. Oh, that's really nice of you, all. Matt, you're being a real nice dude. Thanks. A single parent just really have to look out for each other. How's Carmencita? She, she says she wants to learn some drums. Oh boy. I really, that's one of the things I want to learn, drums. But right now I'm messing with beats. Like, I'm a, I like to make beats. Be loud, I need to take care of a lot of aspirin. But I'll manage, can't really blame her. Same. Suddenly very grateful that all my daughter's hobbies are super quiet. Photography, ecology, and whatever it is she does on the internet. Thanks, Amanda. I'm trying to be supportive, come and see the Trevelyan's face, but I guess that kind of defeats the purpose of it, doesn't it? I think it would be a good daddy-daughter activity to find something to revel against together. Like what? Consumerism? Big budget rem- Okay, let's save. Foreign films? I think we just have to strive to decide to be okay with reading some tiles. He and I laugh. Oh no, let's load. Let's load again. Let's redo this. Fashion. Think you've got one? That one covered, dude. Her, I thought it was among friends. Let me see if the other one was good. Sure. Assume you're speaking legend thing. Okay, so the best thing was the was the um fashion, cause he and I. What was it saying about? Let's see us. Law and order. I guess just my outfit. I think you got that one covered, dude. I'm here. I thought I was among friends. He and I laugh. We keep digging in our big plates of greasy dinner food. The breakfast I ordered for dinner is obviously hitting the spot. Same. Dude, I'm craving some waffles. Like, I've been craving waffles since last week. Because my dude was like, he wanted some pancakes. 
as for his lunch break and i don't know if he got them but i want some waffles he kept talking about waffles i want waffles we had this whole thing he i don't like i i prefer waffles over pancakes that is a whole ordeal <laughs> we argue <laughs> about because waffles i like them because they're they're like you know you like the crispiness oh my gosh should i make waffles tomorrow do i have the utensils to make waffles tomorrow do i even have my waffle maker where is my waffle maker now i'm curious Ooh, if i do make waffles i'm gonna show off dude i'm so hungry oh my god i'm hungry now <laughs> it's not morning yet over here it's barely it's barely 12 36 at least I go work late. That's why I'm not stopping stream. For dinner, it's absolutely hitting the spot. Man, being a single dad shop sometimes. Ooh, how y'all? Chicken and waffles is good. But waffles and ice cream. Oh my god, I got ice cream. Ooh. What does food gotta make us? What does food have a lot of calories? I'm gonna have to work out tomorrow. Shoot. We have the rest of Dax talk to. Yeah, I just do know. I get really nervous sometimes saying that that sounds delicious but we had this whole thing where he was like oh waffles by themselves aren't good i'm like yes they are i don't know who has been serving you waffles but if you make waffles shoot they're good they're gucci they're freaking gucci me too I've never really considered myself an extrovert, never really considered myself an introvert. I'm just uncomfortable in every situation as always. You're fine. You're actually really easy to talk to, you know? Aw, man. Thank you for saying that. You got the same glasses I do. Wait, we back back to the cul-de-sac. Back to respective houses. Night was a blast, man. Probably gonna feel in my knees in the morning. You and me both. Same. Don't used to like doing these things alone. It was really cool having you there with me. Thank you, Matt. I'm glad. Alright, I'm calling it quits for the night. Stay cool. Call me cool. Aw, Matt. You're such a sweetheart. Matt, call me cool. Aw. Walk to the house with my heart in the throat. Amanda pops her head out of the room. Hey, Pops. How was the show? Matt thinks I'm cool. You don't say. Amanda Panda. Matt thinks I'm cool. Blind leading the blind, huh? Wow, I just got dunked on by my own child. Unbelievable. Hey, Amanda, remind me which one of us tore it off the pink at a punk show and which one of us just spent four hours probably watching Tiny House Hunting Amish Triplets Extreme Edition? First of all, how dare you? That show is a classic. But second of all, you mosh in the pit? Who even are you? I know, right, Amanda? I'm so cool. You're extremely cool, Dad. You know, the only place I've had chicken and waffles is from Waffle House. You know. <laughs> uh, and I think somewhere else, too. Honestly, I think I tried them somewhere else, too. I don't remember where. I'll see you. I'm in the hay pops. I'll see you in the pit. Hey, kiddo. Oh my god, my back is killing me right now. What rank did I get? Damn. I could have crowds her. What? I've been to Dallas once, two times. King of carrot flowers. I heard my mail truck pulled through a cul-de-sac. I wonder if we got any coupons today. The nice mail person slides a couple letters and washed yellow envelope through a slot. It takes a couple of tries for them to get in. Hey, my coupons. <laughs> Same, bro. Especially those Jack in the Box coupons. Mwah. I love Jack in the Box. The curly fries are to die for. The french fries I love. I love 
Jack in a Box French fries. Hmm. Tay's knocking Manta's door. She probably has headphones on. Manda? Door. What? I have something for you. Kind of busy right now. Can you come back later? Okay, just thought you want this big old envelope we got from HIA. Should door open. Horny Institute for this. Horn Institute for the Arts. I swear I can. S I mean, if you're busy, I can come back. Fodder, please. You know, if I have stuff tomorrow, I'll probably make freaking waffles. I'm craving waffles. I'll probably make them and brag about it. And send a message to my friend be like, ha ha ha, I made waffles. You biatch. I'm in love, but she tears open her tea. That's probably bad for your tea. And then go work out because then I'll feel guilty about eating. Put out the piece of my She pulls out a letter and unfolds it. And the suspense is killing me. This is her dream school. It's unreadable. I can't believe this. Oh, honey, it's okay that you did it. I got in! Oh! I got in! And says the letter sign gives me a big hug. Congrats, sweetie. That's amazing. You know, I've seen people who have tried to get Amanda's bad ending. I'm like, why would you want that? You. How do you? She pulls away and looks at the letter again. Oh my god, I really can't believe I got in. Well, of course you got in. You're a great student. You know that interview. Your photography is credible. Wait, Dad. I know this one's really expensive, and it's so far away. Think for a moment. HIA was one of the most expensive schools that Amanda applied to, but I know she's had her heart set on it for a long time. It'll be tough, but we're gonna make it work. Really? So what's his work? Like, he's been staying at home all day. Like, what does he do for work that's able to, like, you know... Like, go on dates. Of course. Amanda hugs me again. Thanks, Dad. Okay, sweetie, we're celebrating tonight. Dinner, your choice, whatever you want. Unless he's a freelance. I know, right? She's so see. Who wants to hurt her feelings? Whatever. So it'd be Citerian to her full wrap burritos from... Okay, so I'll be right back. Let me just go put my stuff to dry. Because I put stuff to dry, so I need to go grab that. So be right back. It'll be quick. freaking hit myself on my shoulder with something sharp and it hurts now. Ow. That hurts like a... I don't know if you heard the music because I have music playing in the background so I don't know if that hurt. So, oops. Amanda went on sun to beat side turn into her full wrap burritos from nearby food truck. Oh my god. Remember when I, I would make burritos all the time? Now I don't. Uh, I know how to cook. But food is expensive to make. You could have chosen anywhere Maple Way. Cost is not a determining factor. Please, Dad. You know I'm a simple gal. Just give me a burrito with a view. Tacos. Just give me tacos. Or anything delicious. Give me, just give me food in general and I'll, you'll have my heart. Hear that? Can't say I'm mad. Who doesn't love food, honestly? Favorite ice cream, though? Mint chocolate chip. Like, no joke. I love mint chocolate chip. Mint chocolate chip is to die for, in my opinion. What ships sail lazily through the bay? 
kebabs are good. Yes, they are. Oh, yes, they are. But there's there's some here, but I don't think. Yeah, yeah, I freaking love mint chocolate chip. I freaking love it. There, are these college new brothers discount. You bring Suda and D and Amanda. Slow down. You're gonna choke on your burrito. I know. I'm just excited that I mentioned the students get their own studio space once they're seniors. You get all the professional photo editing software for free. See Amanda. So into a subject about HIA, but I wish she wouldn't do it between bites of burrito. I thought I taught her better to chew, taught her to chew with her mouth closed. Oh God, that is a pet peeve I have, unfortunately. It and my guy does that purposely to me. Like he'll start chewing very loudly just to make me annoyed and he'll see the look i'm giving him and then he'll just go quiet but i have that pet peeve where if you're chewing very loudly i'll give you a, like i'll try to i'll be like what the hell i hate that like i know some people can't help it i know but i hate it i hate it so much I wonder who my roommate's gonna be. You take a survey online and they match you with someone with similar major interests. I bet we're gonna be best of friends. Craig and I were a good roommate can be a lifelong friend. Craig! But don't even get me started on bad roommates. Oh no. Just kidding. We didn't have a bad roommate. Our only other roommate was a puppy that Craig brought home one night. We spent a semester fabricating a story our new foreign exchange student. Who had a really bad cough that sounded exactly like a dark spark. Car rolled. Oh, they let you have animals in dorms if you get a note saying you need one. But I could forge one. I think I'll get a rabbit or maybe a snake or maybe both. Would snake eat a rabbit though? Depends. Oh boy, I think I'll leave that all to you. So excited. Maybe the actually the rabbit will eat the snake, I think, right? More likely that the rabbit will be eat the, the snake. But I need to be so you know I had to talk with Mr. Vega. He didn't tell you about dumpster fire, did he? Oh, maybe they'll just give the snake a right kick. I remember my friend raised rabbits in school. What? No. Don't want to put damper on the good news, but I need you to knock out the park these last few months of school, okay? If you really want to go horns, we need that scholarship money. No, you can do it. Okay. Promise I'll try harder. Oh, Amanda. Pat in the back. Think you can handle a 14-hour drive to come home for the holidays? There's going to be some treacherous ice roads to cross. And don't even get me started on the paranormal occurrences. Well, it'll be worth it if I get to see you. Oh, Amanda. Mine's Millie Wilbs in tears. Oh, Dad, don't cry. Sorry, I'm just very, very proud of you. You're all grown up now. You're such a good person. I hope you know how important you are to me. Dad, stop. You're going to make me cry, too. You know what's my favorite chocolate? Crunch is good, but I love dark chocolate. Dark chocolate is to die for, in my opinion. Like, I love dark chocolate. I love the bitterness of it. Dad, I can't get tears in my burrito. It's going to make it taste sad. It's going to make it taste salty, as Matt Pat says. I pull Manta in the hug and kiss her on the forehead. Love you, kiddo. Love you, too, Pops. Love you, too, Pops. Aww, by quality, not quantity. Who's this? Hey, are you up to anything tonight? Hugh and I were planning to go to the Art Wharf downtown. We're wondering if you were care to accompany us. Yes, I agree with that. A hundred percent yes. Yes, I agree with that one. That statement right there you just said, Palma Grande. Pamarante. I would normally write a lot of longhand, but I've run out of the stress part from Pepper. Well, why can't I see? Am I a hacker? I think I'm a hacker life. The feds are gonna bust down my door any minute now. I'm gonna destroy this computer. I like this to group chat. Oh, thank God. Do either of you guys know how to destroy a computer? You can run Derek's boot and nuke from a startup flashlight, but once you've done that, it's best to basically destroy the platters, the platters all together. Aww. Um, the Victorians were well versed in human information security. Alec, do you want to go see some more or not? Oh, art is good. Let's go see art. 
Let's see that art. Damon who invited me the mo monthly art walk in downtown Maple Bay. I've never been one of these before, so I'm not quite sure what I'm in for. I think I'm here a bit early. I don't know who to pick next. I got Damien, Craig, Robert, Joseph, and Brian. See Damien and Hugo anywhere. I feel just a little uncomfortable standing among all these fancy art people. Alec, turn around. It's Joseph. Joseph, what are you doing here? It's of me. What am I doing here? How could you ask me that? I'm obviously a huge art uh, appreciate, appreciator, appreciates. Okay, fine. Damien invited me to the artwork thing. I'm guessing he invited you too. Yep, I'm really a little on my death here. Thank God, I thought I was going to be the other one out. Are you allowed to say that? Say what? You know, thank God. Yep, I actually get double points when I say it since I'm a minister. Damn. The points get you into heaven. That's how it works. Anyway, where are the guys? Seems to have just read the gallery. Good eve, good eve, good eve. Evening, friends. Who's ready for some art? Oh, you know what's also good? I think I've had um dark chocolate. Oh my god. I'm over here. I'm talking about food. Like I'm not hungry. I have this spot in my nose that is bothering me. Oh, you know I am. You know I love looking at paintings that are in the frames. Also paintings that aren't in the frames. Art is good and stuff. Well put, Alec. All you have to know is that if you're ever feeling overwhelmed, there's general always a table that has free wine and cheese. I like art now. Got table in my sights. If you excuse me, I'm going to go help myself to some tiny wines. Talk art with Hugo and Damien. So what's this first place? Or special landscaping paintings of various locals with American minorities. You know what my walls cover of? Concert photos. Con concert photos and concert posters. You know what's my favorite type of pizza? Spinach pizza if made right. Well, I love spinach pizza from um from Cece's, but I've never tried anywhere else. I've only loved spinach pizza from Cece's. If not, I go anywhere else. I just order like pepperoni, jalapenos, um, mushrooms only if they're cooked very well. I order that. Um, but I try to order more cheese than tomato sauce on the pizza. Because sometimes the tomato sauce, depending on which tomato sauce it is, it can be very strong and I don't, and I might like tomatoes and I might love, I love ketchup. Let me say this right now. I freaking love ketchup. I'm that person that will put ketchup and everything. I know I'm weird. Like I freaking love ketchup. I look at the art. It is rad art. At the risk of sounding uniform, do all these sands kids look like butts to you guys? They need. Send me the painting in earnest. It appears if you are correct. Valid assessment, Alec. Hey, this art stuff's pretty easy. Oh, it gets more complicated. Sometimes the butts are more symbolic. Sometimes the butts are metaphors. Sometimes art's about butts. They don't draw. Ow. I'm being told why haven't I gone to sleep. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being told why haven't I gone to sleep. They can hear me, that's why. Sometimes the butts are more symbolic. Sometimes... Oh, I already read this. I never tried eating them by myself. Most of the time I just eat them with something. My god, I love noodles. I love soup. I love everything. But I'm also very picky. That's the thing is I have a problem with certain textures of food like gelatin. <laughs> Sleep is for the weak. <laughs> ah, interesting. Joseph returns to our group with tiny cheese. I'm going to have to keep quiet a little bit because of them. <laughs> I miss. But shame. The cheese is nice though. Shall we visit the next place? Aw, we leave the first gallery and walk a few minutes before we reach another one. The gallery is a bit more crowded. Huge paintings and I'm not even sure. Hang out on the walls. Jeez. What am I looking at here? 
abstract art, I think the more important question is, what does this art mean to you? I'm very particular with cheese. I won't lie. Oh god, college cheese though? Uh, duh. My, my, the. I have like, my sensory texture issues when I eat certain food. Just, there's certain times where I'm too picky and I'll see a food and I just have that ache about it and I wouldn't even. The texture of it, once it reaches my mouth, my mouth wants to spit it right up. So I grab the napkin. But there's times where I pull a Tokyo goal and just, you see, this is what I do in order to eat stuff that I don't like, which I've done when I've gone to places and I'm invited somewhere and I have to eat the food because it's very rude. I would legit avoid my tongue as much as possible and try to chomp on it without my tongue touching it. Basically, you'll chomp on it without your tongue touching it because your tongue is a prime thing. Obviously, the texture is still there, but I can avoid it. The texture is strong, but I can normally go ahead and try it. Like, I'll just associate myself a little bit and try to pass it down. Like, I cannot eat boiled or cook. Like, I cannot eat boiled um, broccoli for some reason. I can't do that. That texture throws me off a lot, but I love broccoli. That's the thing. I absolutely adore broccoli, which is funny. But I'm not as picky as before because I've I've done I I'm more open now to try stuff. But it takes me a while to kind of like things. It's a butt. It reminds me of my childhood. Color, they remind me of a child of my parents. Things so personal to image us. May I ask you to say a little more? Certainly. The simple forms can be kissed on that is portrayed by Ross Benson's brushwork, which in way speaks to the central nature of human experience. Scars left by patch of time, turmoil, <laughs> blah blah blah, scar echoes. Slow down there, I like. Do us a favor and keep it simple. It's a butt. Everyone else stares at the painting. Yeah, that's definitely a butt. Huh. Why well, can't feel your initial judgment may be closer to the artist's intentions. Maybe you're understanding how much the artist loves us. <laughs> but I wish I could see these paintings. They keep saying it's a butt. You are a servant of the Lord. We're all God's creatures, even butts. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Painted this place as the artist's body of work. I'm pretty sure their representative sense of isolation. He feels creating traditional abstract artwork in the field that's rapidly moving towards disorientation. Should I just continue on to Matt? I think I might just continue on to Matt. That's what it says on the plot card. Oh, let's look at a few more of these. The gallery sampling some of the artist's work. I almost hate to say it, but abstract art is kind of growing on me. It's interesting that the artist chooses not to let their work be defined by what's the word? Realism? Realism? The patient scops all the. Shh. I could do that. Excuse me? Hugo, not here. No, come back here. Oh no, Hugo. Hugo! I'm a. I'm going to turn away, Hugo. I don't know you, Hugo. I'm sorry. The patron walks away now, noticing Hugo fuming right next to him. You see, you could do that, but you didn't. You don't seem to have an intellectual depth or artistic skill to execute a piece, even a fraction as impressive as this one. Oh, Hugo. Hugo seems like the guy who's very passionate. Seems like your self is bad, your art will be bad. Hugo insult game isn't the best, but there's no denying his passion. Damien is holding him back at this point. Fanfic! Damien Damien has fanfic. We've all seen the Naruto and Sasuke fanfic. We've all seen it, Damien. There's no hiding about it. We've all seen your fanfic. Back at this point. Friend, friend, he's not worth it. He 
he managed to cool down smooths his jacket. I can imagine Matt. Uh, Hugo saying that I'm thinking of Matt. Smooths his jacket. I'm sorry, I just love art so much. We know, buddy. Shoulder. You know what we used to move? Is it cheese? No. It's wine and cheese. Cosine. Of us head over to the wine and cheese table, which thankfully is grounded. Realism is actually wine and cheese. Oh god. Have y'all seen those TikTok videos where they put the freaking food right next to the drawing and you have to guess which one is the freaking real thing and then you're like, what the hell? People are amazing, honestly. With colors and everything, which I suck at colors. I'm more of a black and white person. Oh, my back is killing me. We got one last stop on tour. You lost. You lot feeling up for it? It's gonna be any weirder than this art. It's absolutely weirder than this art. Let's do it. Oh, Damien, Hugo, and Joseph and I walk over to the performance in the street. Several mass performers and leotards indulge wildly on the ground, screaming both each other and us. So, quick question. Shoot, what is happening? I second this question. Performance art. What does it mean? Again, I posed a very same question to you, Mr. Leo Giller. What's the very humanity of being? They really like screaming. Being a human. What do you think they're trying to say? Eve is less what they're saying, more about why they're saying it. I think there's something special about performance out. Almost every other form of art, music, painting, photography, the mu art uses the medium as the conduct for their emotions. With performance art, the medium is the artist. It's the purest expression of raw human emotion. It's art as car horses. That's beautiful, Damien. So what are you saying is... If I start making really loud fart noises right now, it's art as long as I really, really, really mean it. <laughs> Damien flexes the hand with our stare. I was gonna start making fart noises based on the look your face isn't. The joke isn't gonna play well with this crowd. Wise. <laughs> Joseph is like, I'm not risking it. Watch the rest of the performance as earnestly as we can and clap lightly after the dancers scream their way off stage. Phew, I think all art out. Agreed. I decided to walk home together. Make our way to the cul-de-sac. The tiny wine and tiny cheese sloshing around my stomach. Think what I've learned tonight, and I just what I've learned about art, which is nice and extremely informative. But what I've learned tonight is that you put a ton bunch of tiny wine and tiny cheese together, it eventually becomes regular wine and regular cheese, followed by too much wine and too much cheese. <laughs> Same. Tiny cheese has lured me into false insecurity. I felt safe with the tiny cheese. Wax wings too close to the sun. Cheese wings? Those will melt in the sun too. I feel like it's more popular appropriate imagery plus it'll be delicious nice emma taylor possibly hey if you guys were painters what would you paint i actually dabble in oils i mostly paint landscapes not very good but it's a nice way to pass the time then we'll focus on personal portraits of unique professionals like for example luchadors think i'll paint boats seascapes maybe some lighthouses mostly boats really yeah, I'm surprised you're choosing boats in favor of a long history of religious imagery and artwork. What? Boats are cool. What about you, Alec? Don't mind. I'm gonna look away and pick my shameful art is some money. <laughs> look at Damien. I know what sells. Finally get to the cold sack. Alright, boys. Good art. Good art. Agreed. See you guys around. What are you one? To or not, we're on Avers after all. And it's time to deal with my inedible cheese over. Oh. Have you ever read Rich Dad or Porter? You got that. Okay, I'm gonna go with Matt again. Cause it's Matt. We gotta go. Full on soon. Ouch. Oh, my back. I just laid down. Oh, that's gonna be hard to stand up to. Ooh, my back. Ouch, my back is killing me. And I just laid down. Ooh, that's gonna be hard to stand up. You gotta stand up, you're streaming. That's what I tell myself every single day. Yee. Uh, why don't I just walk over and grab some coffee? I'm feeling really sluggish today anyway. 
Manda! Head out of her room. Fodder! Wanna go get- Wanna go to Coffee Spoon? Oh, so you get all cool ones and now you're the cool dad who hangs the coffee shop and listens to Neo Jazz and all stuff. Ooh, I'm putting my freaking- Ooh, that feels better. Amanda. Are you going to bring your laptop and your letter-bound journal so you can work on your poetry ontology? Amanda. Look, honey, do you want me to buy you coffee or not? Let me grab my laptop and my letter-bound journal. Aw, Amanda. Amanda and I make a short walk over to the coffee spoon. The place is quiet today. Just a few people hanging out and reading books in its cozy little nooks. I walk up to the counter and see a familiar Pierce face. Hey, you were the dude I yelled at a bunch the other night. Cause so we glanced at me. He tried to sell me shirts. And who might you be, miss? This is my daughter, Amanda. Chris and I have father to and I am very protective. An honor to make your acquaintance. My name is Pablo. Did I mention I make witch house music? I'm gonna call witch house music witch house music, but okay. Amanda! Pearson blows my ego, though not one that would say my need to impress you. My innate dad sense tickle. I'm overwhelmed with folly protect I must do something to protect my child. Change the subject. Hey, which has actually known form of music that made people enjoy? I think our dear Polo here should be proud of me making. Or technically making, since he's not only only done the logo so far. Yeah. Also I've never listened to Witch House before. Alec. Matt comes from washing dishes in the back room to meet Amanda and I. He and I high five us fellow co cool people do. See so you met my newest employee. At your service, although I'm only here until Vacant Veil vale starts the world tour. Once that well, we have to put out a record first. Alright, Pablo. Now what do we do with customers again? Right, yes. Pablo curses though. Hello, good folks in Maple Bay. Can I interest you in a tasty coffee beverage? A smashing pocket spice latte, please. Classic. And you? Oh. Potter John Misto. John Misto, please. That might be the worst pun I've ever heard. Hey, it's pure comedy. Yeah, puns are the highest form of comedy. They really are. I used to be a pun addict. I was making a joke of Father John Misty has an album called Pure Comedy and drinks name after Father John Misty, so I was, yeah, never mind. Coming right up! Pablo gets to work making our drinks while Matt serves him. He'll get the hang of it. For as goofy as he is, kids work hard. Hey man, that concert was a lot of fun. We should hang out again. Hell yes. I'm actually going to be done training public flowers. For, was actually going to go record shopping when I come along? Absolutely. Holly brings her drinks. Amanda burns herself in her lap. So I spend my time sipping my drink and cracking jokes with Matt. That's... <coughs> oh god, I died. Last time we hung out, he told me that he had trouble hanging out with other people. But for some reason, he and I can talk and joke like old buds. It's weird. I feel really comfortable around him. Once Matt feel comfortable leaving Pablo on his own, I say goodbye to Amanda and we start walking to the record store. Have you ever been here before? No, I mean, we have record players sitting in the living room, but all I have two copies of Frampton Comes to Life. Oh, this should be fun then. We're going to find you some good stuff. Most stores are packed with posters, artwork, stickers, and records. People mail around flipping through milk, crates, and albums. Some indie bands playing through the speakers. It's such a nice vibe. I know, right? So why do people still buy records? Isn't it kind of outdated at this point? There's a lot of people who try to tell you the Vinley sounds warmer and more true to the artist's intent, but really I think it's just nice to collect records. I remember there was this YouTube thing. It was a series. Goth Dad, I think? Is that what it was? Goth Dad? That's what it was, right? On React Channel? Which is Smosh. I think it was React Channel. That's what, that's what this reminds me. Honestly, I agree. Collecting records is something that we like to do. It's cool that it's day and age. We have to have every song ever created available. 
our phones, but there's something about holding an album and getting to see the artwork in your hands that I always love. Same. I have a lot of DVDs. That's why I try to get as many of the directors that I love in physical form as possible. Remember when we were kids and we had to wait around the radio with a cassette tape so that we could record our favorite songs? Made each listen really special. Mix this were even cooler because of how much work they took. Now you just make a playlist. I think the last time someone gave me a real mistake was in high school. Shoo, I'm... I think my... Honestly, same. High school was the last time I saw people handing out, you know, their mis mixtapes in school. You know, trying to make it big. I think I still have a mixtape. I have two mixtapes, actually. Then I have my dude's mixtape. Here, let me help you find something you might like. If you were a milkshake, what flavor would you be? Vanilla cookies and cream. Purple. We're doing Grimace shake. If you could only buy one type of candle scent for the rest of your life, what would it be? Ooh, ch cherry blossoms. What's your favorite ambient sound? Rain! Star Trek. I want to go with Star Trek. But I'm going to go with rain. What's your dream vacation spot? My backyard. Living off the fan of the land of Bipsa. What's your deepest, darkest fear? Where the people are nice to me because they want something from me. I fear that I don't serve happiness when I ever get it. What nobody says, but I've heard me. I forget this, and you're just. I'm saying you too when the waiter tells you enjoy your food. I haven't made that mistake. I just say thank you. That's me only because they want something from me. Fear that I don't deserve happiness and whatever get it. That is me. All of those are me. Except the waiter. Mad thanks for a moment. Mm. Oh, I know just a thing. It shows it to me. This is how to be a human being by glove. I know that band. I know that. I know them. I have a friend who listens a lot to them. A lot to them. I don't listen to them a lot, but I do like their music. I won't lie. Their first album is fire, but they kind of try out some different stuff on this one. I can respect that. It's really good. I think you'll like this a lot. Well, dude, thanks for the recommendations. And have a great time with it, promise. Man, I bring a record to the cash register. Young girl with something ring. Bus cut stands behind the counter with one knee bread in. You should slip today, Matt? Just some light pickups. Sorry, I'm good at this, but die sick forever by mystery schools and greatest hits by Remo Drive. Tight. Who's the nerd? That nerd is my buddy, Alec. The be skin of Tima Charn and Smalley. Got kicked out of art school for destroying my paintings at the end of every critique. Lovely to meet you. Hey, anyway, Matt, is the open mic like still on? You know it. Are the third waves going to do a special acoustic performance? I might see if I can get a few, a few of the girls together. Oh. There's an open mic tonight going on? Yeah, dude. We do it every month at the coffee spoon. Some amazing talent always comes through. Got a flyer for it right here. You and Amanda should come by that night. Matt wishes. I mean, if you're not doing anything. Oh, Matt, I'm not doing anything for you, baby. But Vacant Bay will be playing. If only. <laughs> we had all the sword. Aw. Man, what's trip down memory lane? I haven't been in the record shop like that since bands had shag carpeting. Did I mention it's a strange thing with all those weird little musical memories? How do you mean? Well, I think music is very time. <sighs> And play sort of thing. A song is important to me. Not only that, I think the song is good, but where I was and what I was doing when I listened to it. This music that reminds me of my exes struggling through school, being so poor that I didn't know where my next meal was coming from. Damn, same, Matt. That's cool. Go enjoy your night or day. Where? Go enjoy your night. Have a good night. Yeah. Come chill next time. I'm st I'm gonna keep playing this game. Maybe for, I'm going to probably end this at this date and then do it again tomorrow. I'm trying to stream as much as I can again. But thank you, honestly, for being here. Appreciate it, man. 
and know where my next meal was coming from, all that stuff, and listening to those songs remind me of those moments in my life. Same, Matt. I have I listen to a lot of music. Yeah, now that I think of it, even the pop concert Amanda made her me made me take her to special me. I mean, I'm not really a fan of the band, but hearing their song on the radio reminds me of how young inside Amanda was. Backstreet Boys! And then that even reminds me of a younger me going to see my favorite band in concert with all my friends. We would always love to go to my friend Cynthia Chapman's house beforehand to smoke pot in her basement like we were so slick. Her parents definitely knew what we were doing. Wait, when was the last time you smoked pot? It's been decades. Dude, me too. Where do you even get pot now? Is that even what kids call it these days? I don't know. But I bet it kind of out. Do you want to get high and listen to our new records? Yeah, why not? His phone starts texting. After a few minutes, he looks up and smiles at me. Oh, Molly's got a hookup, says to me and Natalie near the coffee shop. Turns out... It turns out it's feds. You make a break for it and I'll take the heat. Just promise me to erase man the like she was your own. You realize that weed has been legalized in the state, right? I definitely knew that. But in different times, who knows what lurks in the city under Belay Maple Bay. We could find ourselves in wrong of the old gone wrong badges. Look out for Amanda. Swear. Oh, here's our guy. Um, excuse me, Mr. Drugman. Who sent you? We're cool, man. We're cool. So far, I know you could be with the feds. Actually, we just prove you're cool. But I need to know that you're down on our boat. Sight and We treat it sure destruction. Look, man, we were trying to buy drugs from you. We know you sell drugs. You have dirt on us, we have dirt on you. Win this together now. Look, it's fine. I get it. Buzz cut Molly said you were cunning. Right, now that formally is out of the way, let's make a deal. Alright, how much you want? One more. Yeah, he means weed. Lucian. Yeah, but how much? One? Oh my god, look here. Take this and give me ten. Just don't tell my dad. Let's all forget this ever happened. I won't tell your dad if you don't. <laughs> Poor Lucian. Me a bag of something that disappears on the drug is yesterday. That one's smoothie. Yeah, we should cut off the public rock before we smoke this. Great idea. Let's head back to my place, right? Damn, we're going back to his place. Hell yeah! 16 again. See, this time I sleep overnight, so that gives us all the time we need to do drugs. <laughs> awesome, let's do some drugs. <laughs> let's do drugs, man. And his bag. Out. What's on record on his back? Puts on fast. I plop down the comfy leather couch and look around his place. Bunch of band posters in his record collection takes up an entire wall. Whoa, what a collection. Nice finally get them all in one place after being on the road for so much of my life. Had to ask my parents to hold on them. If they marry when I drugs on the cop. Oh god, I'm getting hiccup. <gasps> Please, it's your house. You say so. Some of the beanic tobacco onto one piece. He starts rolling it back and forth, and the paper breaks almost. Nero was too good at this. Cycle roll a nice looking weed cigarette. Yes, I learned the blunt. I think I take it. Well, let's. Oh god, we're doing puns. Yes, yes, let's do that. Joined in hell deeply. This is not what I remember. It's been a while, though. Maybe pot drugs have gotten more puns since last time I smoked. Oh, wait. Should I stink this much or am I just baby? Hey, in his eyes, go what? That's not weed. Oh, God. Do we develop a taste for meth? No. It's. Yeah, this is oregano. That little punk rip us off. Oh, well. We can still relax and enjoy the music sober. You know what? You're right. Aww. A young one with a huge smile in one of the pictures of the two. Who's that? Oh, that's Rosa. She was coming she died when Camisa was young. I'm sorry to hear that. I mean, I lost Alex at a young age, too. I can understand how hard that must have been. Oh, we f there was a name for him? I didn't know there was a frame gave poster hanging the wall on it. There's Lich and Matt Rose surrounded by flowers. The curse of Larry stillness and dancing. They played the sound garden over a decade of way to an abandoned Yeah, that was the reason I was torn so much when I was younger. 
After drinking, thank little Van. It was hard to start, but once we started gaining notoriety, seeing how much our songs meant to kids, it was just incredible. Wow, that seems like a life some people only dream of. It was, and it was difficult at the same time. I couldn't have done it without some someone by my side. I knew that we couldn't do it forever. The long hours on the road, missing your family, sleeping in the van, all that stuff. So once you became pregnant with Carmencita, she we put down roots in one of her favorite town to play in right here. When she was a kid, Rosa always dreamed of having her own quiet little coffee shop. She uh, died before it opened. Damn, that's sad. I'm so sorry. Don't be. I'm not really sure what to say. I couldn't possibly count the number of times to tell people the same thing after Alex died. Matt gets up the flip worker. Next turn for us, that's the piano. Do you play? Uh, I'm out of practice. I used to jam on the keys back in the day. Oh yeah? Found the hottest seven-piece ska band that Eagle Rock Bay High School had to offer. No way, you had a ska face, face, ska never dies, except for a ska munis manifesto, manifesto who broke up after the senior talent show to pursue her solo career. That's so rad. Give me some of that two-tone love. Oh man, let's see if I still got it. Go with a classic? I'm a jam. Alright buddy, can you top that? I uh, shouldn't. Come on. No, um, it's been a long time. Never too late to get back on it. Matt, you sit through a bunch of version of trust. I found that children who are learning the piano usually figure out before they attend. How much worse can it be? Okay. Uh, okay. Aww, he breathes in deep, starts playing a melody. I didn't know that he hadn't played the piano in a long time. I would never have guessed it. Matt plays a soft, sweet tune I've heard. One of his original works. So cool. Matt finishes the song and finally opens his eyes. How was that? That was amazing. Oh, it's nothing. Come on, man. That was a killer. Are you going to pull that out for the open mic night? No, I never play at those. Well, why not? You're really good. It's just... Just don't do it anymore. I just don't like people being up there and alone having some people stare at me. It doesn't feel fun anymore. Thought of it. I won't push him any further. Alright, man, but I hope you know how beautiful your music is. Thanks. Man, I sit and listen to more records until it gets late. I said I need to get back to bed. Matt, walk Matt walks me in the door. Let's not ever tell anyone about the oregano, okay? <laughs> Do you wait? Can I tell my doctor? I don't know anything about health effects from her. Then we'll be fine. Night, dude. A smile. Night. The house dark, safe for the silver life coming from beneath Amanda's door. She's hitting on this. Hey, Amanda. What smells like pizza parlor in here? What? Nothing. So, what's up? Dad, I'm hungry. Wait, no. Hi, hungry. No, I'm dad. <laughs> Slaps on the floor. Promise myself I'll never let it come to this. <laughs> Sorry, Kyo, you set it up. I spec down. You're a monster. <laughs> Want some spaghetti? Yes, please. Oh. Well, boy pasta he himself from Amanda watches despite my best efforts, I'm not able to set it on fire. I was record collecting. It was great. Did you know that Matt used to play in a band? No way, was he good? I don't know if the band was good, but he played some piano for me tonight. It was amazing. Play piano for you, dude. Yeah, I brought it up that he should play at the Moe Mac tonight. Night, the time in his coffee shop, but he got weird about it. Yeah, I saw a flyer for that. We should go. It's not too late to start a father-daughter punk band and play a couple tunes there. Yeah, let me break out my glug spiel. I think I only know hot cross buns. We can work off the chord progression. <laughs> what a nice dinner, but she goes back to her dinner room to do photographer stuff and I'm watching True Life. I'm a house hunter. They're staging an intervention for the house hunter who's crying and controlling over the color walls. They know they can paint the walls of the house and color they want, right? Mass song stuck in my head all night. Aww. Be early than late. Hi, Matt. Who is? Thank you, Matt. I'm the king of care flowers. It's been a long day. Packing in after a few bites. Man is still awake. That kid needs to sleep. Is she? Crying? Amanda? Not right now. She's okay, open the door. Aww. 
Is the original okay? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, Amanda, did something happen, baby? Did something happen? All right, I'll leave you be. She may start crying again. Oh, Amanda. Oh, wow, I have no idea what. She doesn't even hurt her to cry, but also get a feeling I should. I think, yeah, because she's already mad we've been pushy. Those horror options could be doing right now. More than anything, I just want to be her to be happy and say, have a hard time falling asleep, but when I finally do, I'm still thinking about Amanda. Morning, Amanda. Morning. Yikes. So, anything big going on school today? No. Okay. Do you need a ride to school? No. Want some coffee? Oh. To go. Oh, Amanda, are you okay? Oh. Okay. That scared me, actually. Is this sh this will also when things are back to normal soon. Her face is a mixture of Simon and Pierre. On Dolce or Fear, I remember how determined she was. Every time she would fall off and scrape her knees, she would get up and try again. Stop her because she was bleeding everywhere. Then she started to cry because she didn't think she didn't advantage and wanted to keep trying. Stood in the middle of the street and screamed. Then I took her ice cream and was like nothing ever happened. After giving it a bit of thought, I decided that if I forced her to talk about it, I'm only going to make things worse. But I have an idea. I want to up in the kitchen. Hey, pumpkin. What? Can you come here for a sec? Yeah. I'm gonna say sorry about last night. I'm just worried about you, kiddo. No, something's wrong in the game. What's going to feel like I can't do anything about it? Dad, I... So just... Whatever it is, you don't have to tell me we don't want to. But whatever it is, you know that you have your dad in your corner who wants you to be happy. Honey. No, I'm bad with words. So I'm hoping I can speak language we will understand. Front step by now. Ta-da! Dad time because I ran out of a fair boss and somewhere around sad. Sad star over. This is beautiful. Strawberry. I have some plates and of course there was some delicious cake. So it's really stupid. What is this whole thing? I know I've been really weird lately and there's just I don't even know how to explain. I feel like I'm about to make your chart. I'm listening. Do you want me to take so start from you know how MR is gonna to fancy art school. Right? MR. The best friend. You got it. I'm like, I'm trying to remember who was the one with the. And she's been spending a lot more time with Grace and Emma P. I saw I was found out from most of them that both of the Emma and Grace know all went to a party McKenzie F's on the same night. They all told me they were busy studying for calculus AB final. Yikes. So, another important piece of information is, oh god, this is embarrassing. Um, I have a crush on Noah and a thing. What? Whoa, I know they definitely didn't know that. Okay, you're a bad liar. So are you. Learn from the worst. Wait, so the only person I told about the crush was MR and she promised me not to tell anybody. I have all the part things I didn't want to start driving, so I just kept quiet and kept going about my business. And then one day I invite everybody out to get nachos to the mall after not texting me back for like two hours, even though none of them ever put their phones down for more than 60 seconds. They all said they're busy like things. Tell them, never mind, I'll just eat nachos at home, right? But we were out of chips and really wanted nachos. So understandable. Well, anyway, and it gets to the food court, and who do I see there? But Grace, MP, and MR. They're not together eating nachos without me. What? It gets better. I'm standing by the escalators watching them, and I realize no, it's summer on MR, which is kind of weird, right? Then they kiss. No! Yes! So I still remember, and I'm like, hey... Grace, Grace, something's coming up. I don't know who that is. It's the... Grace is the gossipy one? 
I think, right? She said. Because she told um her that, you know, she basically was starting drama. Because she's the one who told... No, wasn't it Rose? I think Gossipy won? Here's the one over So I guess that's me now. Say anything, I'm just like, you guys suck, whichever is... I just want to get out of there. So I left without outros my ad, which only further contributes to the image after super long text group chats and why they've been so weird. I'm sorry, I know that's a lot. You still following? What did MR say? Oh, okay, I got it. It's word for word, and I didn't know Zuma. Is that? I cannot believe that. There was Danny and see her for like months. So I told her that she's been really terrible for her. And she's like, well, if you think I'm so terrible, then stop being my friend. I was like, okay. And then, wait, left me unread. What's that? Oh, like she saw messages, didn't reply. I know because they're really sleeps. Gotcha. So while this is all happening, I'm talking to MFP about how mad I am because she's at least being kind and reasonable. And I'm venting her about how pissed I am at everybody's stuff. Then I'm nowhere. And now it takes me like, how could you say that about me? I'm like, say what about you? That I could... Alright, I think you lost my screenshots, but that definitely sounds bad. There's so much more, but... The bottom line is that everybody dropped me and half of my grade hates me and now I have no friends. Amanda, I'm sorry. I expect they're from everybody else, but... Mara's been there since dad died. It seems like she would just stab me in the back like that. I'm not even mad if she's dating. No, I'm just upset that she lied to me a lot for so long. Okay, I take it back. I'm kind of mad she's saying, though. No. Like, what did I do? I didn't want to tell me I'm not cool anymore. No, I don't understand. Oh, it's my son and everybody, like, I miss them, Dad. Anyways, that's it. Then that's the whole story. Thanks for snoozing. Until next week for more hot gossip. Wow. That was pretty hot. It's not dumb. Amanda, your feelings are real. Don't ever be mad at yourself for having feelings, I guess. Like, you've secretly been a robot who's been straining a human's feelings this whole time. Dad, if I was a robot, I would have transformed to a monster truck a long, long time ago. Seriously, man. I know you probably don't want to advise, but I feel like it's my father's duty as a dad to bestow upon you a few nuggets of fatherly wisdom. Not all friendships last forever. Uh... I think not all friendship. Mm. I mean, I want to say high school sucks. Huh. Real friends don't do that. Um, uh, still there when you still look. But once you go to college, once you get into the real world, you're gonna be a spokes to us, or it's gonna be easier to make friends who really get you. Those friendships can last a lot of time. I mean, look at me and Craig. Some of them only last a little while, and that's okay too. You're gonna make so many awesome new friends at school. Me, I think it says way more about their character than it does about yours because you're amazing and they can see that well. That's their problem. I'll keep that in mind. Did we just eat the whole cake? Yes, we did just eat that whole cake. Well, good talk. Hey, Pops. Yes. Thank you. You're always welcome. Love you, Amanda. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to save here, and I will be seeing y'all next time when I stream again. So bye-bye. Probably tomorrow.